Tamara, answer me at once. Answer me at once. Stop wasting my time. What did you do with the money you collected from my uh, trouser pocket? What? Daddy, I did not take any money. Leave me. Shut, Shut up. How can you be lying? Since you were a kid, in your whole life, I never flogged you. Now listen to me. The first and only time I ever flogged you in your entire life was when you were just nine years old. When you carelessly broke the windscreen of my car. Since then, I have never flogged you. I have never, if I don't beat my children, I don't flog them. You now took it for granted that you can do anything you like and get away with it. I do not believe in beating or spanking or flogging children, let alone my own children. But you have taken it for granted. You, 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 you came to think that you cannot do anything you like and get away with it. No, that cannot happen. Not in this house. Daddy, I did not take money to leave me. I searched the pockets before washing and I did not see anything inside. You searched the trouser. Why did you search the trouser before washing it? If not to steal. Huh? Not to steal, but to check it. If there is any documents. Amara! Documents in a trouser pocket. Are you okay? Daddy, she stole the money and she knows. You see how you are telling lies? Do I keep my documents in my trouser pocket? You know quite well that I have a bag where I have all my documents intact. Now for want of uh, a lie to tell, you say you are looking for documents in my trouser pocket. Let me tell you something. I did this on purpose. Yes. Money has been missing from my room for some time now. I will ask and both of you will deny. So I purposely planted that money in that trouser so that I can catch the thief. So this time I found, I set a trap to catch the thief and you fell for it. You are the one that washed the trousers, are you not? Are you not the one who washed the trousers? Yes, so she stole the money. So why are you denying that you did not take the money? Listen, enough of this. My daughter cannot be a thief and my daughter cannot be a liar. Your hand, I'll give you 12 strokes of the care to teach you a very important lesson. My daughter cannot be a thief. My daughter cannot be a liar. Show me hand. I shut up. Shut up. Shut up. You're not pretending to be to be a good girl when actually you are worse. Leave this place, leave. Get out! Nonsense. Now your hand! Enough of the story. As much as I don't like this, I am doing it for a purpose. I want it to be memorable in your mind that there was a day that he flogged you because of this, so that you will never, ever in your life steal. Is it true? That is not 
true. I did not steal any money. I did not. Of what? Darling, I put some money in my trouser pocket mm -hmm. for, for washing. Mm -hmm. The money disappeared. And it was uh, Amara. I gave the I, I gave the clothes. In fact, it was it was a trap. I said. And this one was uh, even for the find that you said. I was plugging Amara. And she was the one crying and screaming. Feeling the pains of the flogging. And Amara was just there with her hands like this. She's not flinched. It's not shake, nothing. That is what you just witnessed. So, Eben, what exactly is going on? Mommy, we did not see me believe me. She's lying. She's lying. I, I, I think she's possessed. No family pleads for, for someone that is possessed. No. No, mommy. Each time people leave this house, she behaves in a strange manner. She behaves like someone that is possessed. That is what I'm saying because you're not always here to see it. I think she's possessed. Can't you see you're flogging her and I'm the one receiving the pain? Okay. I think she has joined the school cult. Cult? You people don't know. They now have cult in their school now. Most of the kids there are now in the cult. So I think, she, I think it's either she's possessed or she, she has joined the cult. But you can see that you're flogging her and I'm the one feeling the pain. What do you want to hear again? Um. Dad, this is a very bad. Inside this purse is all the money you've lost. What? Yes. It's a very sacred purse. What? Then, it's not my purse. It's not, I'm not. Why are you lying against me? It's not right here. She's lying. This is not my mother. I don't even know who. This is a very bad. She has the code to. To the, the key. To what key? You're lying! Now shut up. Now open this bag. It is not my bag. Open it! Hold on. Hold on. Eben, I have once seen you with this key and I was asking you where you got it from. And you said it came with your traveling bag. True or false? Me. Are you also denying that? You told me the, the key came with your bag. Is it also? No, we still have to open it. Open it. So it is your bag. This is your key. And you know the code. Open it! This is not my bag. I cannot open it. That's why. Right. Give me, give me. What's the code? What is the code? So, why didn't you ask for the money instead of stealing? That is because I've failed twice and I don't want to. I don't know how to ask again. I just wanted you to be surprised. Oh my God, you said three times. Have you forgotten the first time? Eh? What is the matter with you? With you, it's always one problem or the other. Listen, you didn't take this attitude from me. You didn't inherit her on it. Maybe it's from your father's side. Uh, Holy Ghost fire. It's not about Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost firing. Fire. It's not firing from Holy Ghost because your sister, your sister, what's her name again, is a thief. Oh, do you want us to Only talk about that? Well, no, but we know. Do you want us to talk about that? We better leave forget so about that. that. I'm really, really disappointed. Eberem, so you made me 
harass, humiliate, and, 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 and interrogate this, this, this innocent young lady. Oh, I bear it. Saving that money to buy an iPhone. Sure, of course. Don't come at me next time. She's a child of history. <laughs> assist me in the kitchen with some chores and you are here pretending to be reading what I don't know. I'm reading for my Wayek. Please don't disturb me. Besides, I've done my chores and some of yours. Why are you still disturbing me? So what if you've done your chores and some of mine? So what? So you think you've grown enough to speak to me in that routine, right? I am reading for my Wayek. Please, don't disturb me again. So every time I ask you to come and assist me and do something in this house, you use your wayek and jam exam as excuses for your laziness. Amarachi. I am efficient with my time. Really? When I was doing my chores, you were watching TV and now you want me to do yours? It would not work. Shut up your mouth. And don't you ever speak to me like that again. Else I'll give you a little slap. One of these days, I will give you the beating of your life when mommy and daddy are not around. Maybe just then you will learn to respect me. Now, to the kitchen so you assist me. No. Please, don't stop me again. It's, it's a pal. Hey, I'm talking to you. Give me a She's a child of history. <laughs>
open this door. Amara, Amara, open this door. I'm warning you now, open this door, Amara. Amarachi. The door is open. But this door was locked. I've been struggling to open it all to no avail. Calm down, calm down. There's no key behind this door. We all know that. There's no bolt. How can she, you say she locked you out? You didn't even try. Eh? Amara, did you lock her out? So I don't even have common sense, mommy. That's what you're saying. But that is what it is. You are supporting her and I'm not surprised. You said she, she locked you out. I just opened the door and it opened. And you're talking about common sense. And I've been struggling to open this door since, mom. Struggling? Whose fault? I just opened and it opened. I'm not surprised. I knew you would support her. After all, you and dad always do. Each time I have misunderstanding with my sister, both of you will support her against me. After you people say a bearing is not doing well in school. But mommy, how am I supposed to do well when you people subject me to emotional torture in this house? Please. You get too emotional, that's the problem. You said the door was locked. I opened the door, it opened. But this so why are you talking about subjecting you to emotional problem? What is all that? Eh, leave this girl to read, look at her, she's cutting. She needs to prepare for her work. When it was your own time, you messed up big time. Rub it to my face, no, mom. Rub it to my face. You know, you failed. Severally. Now she's turning out to make it and you will not allow this girl to make it. What is your problem? What is your problem? Eh? You know what, mom? Whatever it is you people are doing to me in this house is not fair. One day I will leave and never return. Mm. What would I say on that day? Goodbye, my dear daughter. Nam, study hard eh? and make your answer. It's very good. Always looking for who to blame for your part. <laughs> Alam, what happened? Oh, Mr. Berry, I finished doing my own work. I started studying. Only February to come and start harassing me. Why? I finished doing my own chores. I started studying. A very asked me to come and join her in the kitchen to cook. Due to I was studying for my exams, I told her no. She started shouting at me. I left the sitting room to come here and read peacefully. She followed me here for me not to read anything. And I don't know what I've done to her. She's always being hostile to me and she's always lying against me. It's okay. I know. We all know. Alright? That's a bear for you. It's called sibling rivalry. But her own is too much. Oh, mom. But not to worry. She'll grow out of it someday. When you keep showing her love, she will change her attitude towards you. I pray so. It's not so it could be. All right. Um, I want to go to. Uh, I want to go and see Mama Kichi. You know that woman. I want to discuss something with her. Something to do with her cooperative. Okay. Mm? Okay. Don't let her harass you. All right. Mm. Okay. See. You. Mm. Then continue with your studies. Hello. I can hear you. Please go. I'm not. 
I said, say what you want to say now. I'm, I'm not in that mood now. Just don't. I'm not in the mood. I'm, I'm not just the mood. Please call me later. Doing the cooking? Yes. What about Eberi? She's inside. Doing what? Eberi cut herself with a knife while cutting vegetables. I is it serious? Hey! Eberi! Actually, a small wound I treated. What do you mean a small wound you treated? Mommy, that knife almost cut off my finger. You needed to see the amount of blood that gushed out of this finger. Okay. But, so what do I do now? You shouldn't say things like that, Amara. If it's a big knife that cuts the, the finger, then it, it wound ought to be bad. Mom, it's actually a small wound. I already treated it. I'm sure it must have been healed by now. Mommy, tell this idiot to get out of my right hand though, before I'll give you a dirty slap. It's okay. You don't have to abuse her. Let me see the wound. Let me see. Let me see. Mommy, if you ah. touch it, it will hurt me more. Is it that painful? Yes. At least let me see the wound so I know if it's what needs to, you know, you going to the hospital and mean? taking eight years to prevent death loss. If it's not, then we'll know what to do. Do I go ahead? Give me a cartoon character. Make a water. Small, small, please. 
Still saying is a small wound. Mommy, I was using the sharpest of them or that knife. Didn't if you see the way didn't cut me, it was too deep and the blood was too much. She saw it now, Mara. She said the truth. I mean, look at this. This happened barely an hour ago. Eh? Are you trying to tell me that the big wound got healed within an hour? I don't know how it happened. Uh, Mama and Kichi, but I was there. I waited for you now. You told me to wait. I was waiting. You didn't tell her. Oh, downstairs. Now my compound. Okay. All right. I'm coming down. I'm coming down. I'll deal with you. Stop staring at me like that now. This, this wound was deep. It's a child of history. Have you seen what you cost? Oh, always pretending to be the good, the, the, the good one. It is not a, it is not a deep wound. No, 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 no. Nonsense. How did this wound heal just like that? I'm very sorry I kept you waiting at my place. It was traffic. I understand perfectly. I actually came over that thing we discussed. You know, my son has just gone back to school. We paid for his fees, uh, paid for accommodation, bought provisions, and then my daughter, who just registered her for Jamba Neko, that's Amara. So now I'm totally broke and I'm in need of money for something very important. Uh, afternoon. afternoon. Um, listen, I understand you very well, but the problem is we cannot go against the rules and regulations guiding the, the loan business. There's no money anyway, there's no cobble in our process for loan. I'm very sorry. Man, gee, I'm not asking for too much. I'm not asking for 500,000, I'm only asking for 50,000 Naira, only 50,000 Naira, which I'll pay back in two months, 25,000, 25,000 Naira each. Like I said, there's no money anywhere. Maybe if you had come like last week, there about I'd have seen, if not close to or something at least, I would have, I would have, I would have, been, I would have been able to raise something for you. But as this now, no money anyway. Because there must be a way you can help me now. I wish, but there's no way. Okay, can you, you know, lend me your own personal money? My personal money? Hey, maybe you can leave all this is what you see in the package, you know. As a matter of fact, I don't have one naira a dime. <laughs> I wasn't I wasn't about begging you money for, for fear. Yes, so is hmm. that bad? When your husband owns a filling station. <laughs> Leave this is not package, like I said. Oh. There's no money anywhere. Leave this size. I don't have money. So those tankers at the filling station is filled with water. So bad you know. I'm so sorry, but I wish I had. I'll, why not? I would have I would have assisted. You understand? Wait the food bar. Stupid woman. You call 50,000 naira only. But your useless husband cannot give it to you. Every time she will be boasting with her children. My son this and my daughter that. As if she's the only one that has children. As far as I remain the financial secretary, you will never get a loan from our cooperative nonsense. So, what do you want? No problem. No problem. Okay. I'm very sorry. It's okay. I have to run alone. It's all right. Okay. Have a good Trust day. me, I don't have. That's so bad. It's, it's all right. right. Okay, all right. Okay. Take care, okay? okay? Let me run alone. Okay, well. It's a child of mystery. <laughs> Oh, 
What? That woman hates us. What do you mean she hates us, right? Exactly. She hates us. And please, don't ask her for anything again. Why would you say that? She has that money. She has it, but she does not want to give. That woman is bad. Do you know that she says terrible things about us behind your back? How would you know? It's written all over her. Come on, you don't just see someone and assume the person is thinking what you think that she's thinking. Mom, you just have to believe me. She has a big grudge over you. Why would she bear uh, grudges against me? She is the uh, financial secretary of the society. So she's in a good position to know whether there's money in their account or not. Besides, I was one of the greatest forces behind her getting that position. And as for bearing grudge against me, <laughs> I don't know for whatever reason. You don't have to offend someone before they bear a grudge against you. Amara, it's okay. You know what? No, don't worry your little head. I'm going to look for another source to get known for. All I need is for your father to just land one of those projects he's working on. And um, I'll have a little respite, you know, just to... Get a breather. What do you have to do? Let's go inside. Yes, baby, I can hear you. Yes. But I won't be able to see you today. My dad will soon be back, that's why. Okay, see baby, I will come tomorrow, okay? Hey, you keep that, that drink you always buy for me, you keep it for me, right? Okay, I love you too. Let me go in, my sister is here, we don't want her to hear what I'm saying. is back. Let me go. Love you too, baby. Bye. Mm -hmm. Okay, bye.
Why are you staring at me like that? Did I scatter your books? Your best friend is back. He cannot sit down one place and allow someone to have peace of mind in this house. I am leaving the parlor for you people. Make sure you catch your cruise with him. Sometimes our forces that control the things that happen to us. You just have to believe. Amara, you're, you're beginning to get on my nerves. What, what, what kind of force is that? Like I told you, I'm a practical man. Whatever force should have made this thing work, why would the force wait for this thing to, to fail? And then you're telling me about forces. Please, 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 just, just allow me to rest and, and I'll take care my head is full. You just have to believe that. Say something. I prepared something very nice. I know you like it. 
In fact, my house designs are second to none. Yet this man came from nowhere and, and grabbed the contract. He was even the last person to submit his proposal. And from inside information, I got to know that there were even some discrepancies in his documentation. Mm. Yet they gave him the contract because of because of long leg, because of I am. It's, 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 it's too bad. It's, it's, it's heartbreaking. Yeah, I understand how you feel. It's really sad. Of course, he must have bribed his way through. Oh, yes. Oh, I don't, I don't. He gave them a huge amount of money as bribe. But you know what, sweetheart? Mm -hmm. I don't believe in bribery. No. Because it never ends well. Never. When you give bribe, you end up with little amount of money to execute the project. Then you begin to cut corners. And by cutting corners, you do a shoddy job. And you know the funniest part? The same people who took bribe from you will turn around and assess you with the bad job that you did. Of course. I say, ah, look at the last job. It's not good enough. So we're not going to give you more contracts. They are the same ones that would criticize you. A vicious circle, yes. The funny thing is, the same thing is happening in my office. And I've been overdue for promotion for two years now. I know. They refuse to give it to me. I know. But you know what? I am not going to bribe anyone. Neither would I mess myself up just because I want someone to promote me. Oh, no, 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 not I mess with that. Not mess and with I know that. that God will punish all those stupid people that feel they can intimidate one and expect bribe just to get what rightfully belongs to you. God will punish them. Amen. Amen. It should be so. My biggest pain now, man. How, how, how do I get out of this? What, what else should I do? Eh? I, I do the paperwork. I do the leg work. I do the knee work. We pray. What else? The fasting work. We do. It's a child of history. But why? I don't want to go. For the next one week, I will not be going to work. I will not be taking any calls. In fact, no communication with anybody outside this home. But why, Dad? You need to go to work. What do you mean by why? Huh? Can't you see what has been happening to me in, the, in, in, in recent times? I, 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 are you blind? All my efforts, all my six months' efforts just went down the drain. Dad. I, I, I need time to really think about what's going on in my life. Dad, you have to listen. If one door closes, another door must surely open. Is that for me? Look, Amar, I don't like the way you talk to me like you're talking to a little child. What, what, what is all this? I'm sorry. But, Dad, you have to switch on your phone. You don't know when something good wants to happen. Something good is coming. All the things that should come, they have already come. So just leave me alone, please. Oh, I don't need it. I'm not, I'm not taking any calls. What, what, what? Keep that phone, my friend. Keep that phone. I want to switch on the phone now. I'm looking for money. People will be calling asking me for money. When, when, I, when I, I'm already in it.
Dad, your phone is ringing. You really want to upset me this man? I said, I don't want to take all those kind of useless calls. You are still telling me what is it? What is it? It's ringing again. Dad, it's DJ Works. DJ Works is calling. Hello, sir. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm very sorry, sir. My phone, my battery. Uh, okay, sir. Uh, in the office? Yes, 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 yes. I, I can make it in the next 30 minutes. Yes, sir. Okay, okay I'll see you. Dad, what is it? I, I don't know exactly, but from what I'm seeing, something is about to happen. Thank you, okay? Have a nice day. She's a child of mystery. She's a child of mystery. Listen to her. She's a child of mystery. She's a child of mystery. I remember. I was, I really forgot. Um, I'm off to school. Make sure you remember to prepare lunch, okay? I should make sure I remember to prepare lunch. Ask my mother or what? No. I know you're going to see him. What is wrong with you? Are you crazy or something? Cut the printer's basis. I know about the midnight calls. So you stay awake all night? to listen to my private conversations, right? I'm not staying awake to listen to any conversations. I can hear you even when I'm asleep. You know what? I'm not surprised. Because you are not Banji. But that is your business. Listen, I'm 20 years old. And as such, I'm an adult. I'm a grown girl. But you, you're a minor. And I will not allow you to intimidate me in this house. I just asked you to remember to make lunch. Get out. Go to school. That is where your mates are. Your fellow children. You don't know anything yet. I am not your mate, Amarachi. Learn to respect me. Just be careful, okay? Come get out. Okay. Mm. Very irritating brat. I don't even know what gifts had the gods in this house. She's a child of mystery. She's a child of Of course. What of those your naughty friends? Hope they are not there. Oh, oh no. Everyone has gone out to us. Okay, let me get my bag. All right. Please do that very fast. <laughs> 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 so, 
of dirt. <laughs> Office, hurry up. You always cook for them. Can they eat that something? It's because of my kids, sister. That's why my mom always pressures me to cook. Anyway, you are the one doing yourself. If you refuse cooking today, nobody will ask you to cook tomorrow. Mm. Yes. Baby, I, I, I have not thought of that though. Are you right? Oh, please, let's go. You saw that up there. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh, come on. Let's get to my house first, you know? hmm? That's what you always tell me after you fail. You're just king of promise and fail. Oh my god, baby. Okay, don't worry. You know I told you I'm working on a day. Once it eats, I'm gonna get you a car. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> oh, come on, let's go. Amarachi. Talk to me now. See, the worst you will do is to report me to mom and dad. Eh, that's the worst you will do. I mean, I will defend myself. Because I went I, I went for my wayek and, and jump lessons. Uh -huh. You people say I, I I don't always get serious with my studies. And each time I try to get serious like this, it becomes a problem. So when you're reporting me to them, make sure you tell them the truth, not that nonsense you talked about them. Nonsense. I, I always claim it to be the, the, the righteous one. And I hope my food is in the kitchen. If not, I will beat you so well. She's a child of history. <laughs> Mommy, yeah. Mommy, welcome. Mommy, stop singing now. <laughs> Biko, Biko, Biko. Mommy, please, you have to warn Amara. Warn Amara <laughs> because. Biko, I am not here to entertain any form of complaint or the other. I want to celebrate. But can you feel my Eh? Come on, join Mommy, what, what, what is the good news? You want to know what the good news is? Double promotion. Double 
after two years of waiting, double promotion at work. At work. Ha! You know, when I got to work this morning, my boss called me. I said, eh, Madam, you know, um, I didn't want to promote you or, or anything, or, but you're very lucky. Orders came from above. Said, promote this woman, not just one, two steps. I am now the assistant financial director of our organization. Mommy? Mm -hmm. Ha! That means I will not be lacking money now. Yeah, <laughs> Mommy, this is a serious miracle. It is a serious miracle. Because you know what? I prayed for this thing. I fasted for it. I begged. I cajoled. And when I least expected it. But when it is God's time, uh -huh. everything begins to I'm happen. excited! Come and join me, sing a hallelujah. By the way, where's a man? That's what. She's inside cooking another cheap gossip to tell. Biko. I said I don't want to listen to complaints. Come get me. Oh, mommy, I was about tell to tell you what to that so, go and get in there, man. Go and get in there, God is just awesome. Oh, mommy is blown. Oh, Congratulations. Thank I heard it all. You. I'm so happy for you. I am happy for myself. You know what that means? Double promotion. And it comes with me. A house. A car. I just couldn't believe it. An insurance policy. I was excited. Money. The smell of money is almost double my salary. This is the best news. At least you won't have to go about borrowing money to help dad. Talking about <sighs> borrowing money. You remember that mama kitchen? Mm -hmm. The woman you were really bad. Right. Really? Yes. On my way coming home, I saw uh, a chairperson of a company. She told me she heard, you know, that I approached the financial secretary that's Mama Kichi to borrow money. And she told me they didn't have enough. She told me it was a lie. Hmm. There was enough money to lend me, but she didn't want to do so. And then she asked me if I still needed the money. And guess what my answer was? I said, no, thank you. I'm good. But my new salary, I can take care of my needs. Yes, you get that. Hey, but I just wonder. How did you even get to know that that woman was in there? I felt it from afar. I felt the lie and hatred roaming around her. That was why I had to follow you there. You're an incredible child. Thank you, Mom. A gift child. Thank you. Thank you, Mom. And where is my son? you requested for Zonian. She came without the glass. You yeah, can't accept from so no glass, not even in the tree. I don't even understand you, mom. You'll be here praising her. When I came, did you praise I'll, me? I'll go get it. I'll go get it, please. Did anybody ask you to get? Hey! Oh my god. Look at her. She will never do anything about that. You go and use your own. Okay, 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 okay. One of Cassia. Also, one B. Yeah, we go somewhere. Say, right, say. <laughs> no more. Give me the glass, Jerry. Somebody praise, 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 praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 
I tell you what. Let me. I just want to. It's very, it's very fragile, yes. Um, I have finally gotten the big contract. <laughs> a big contract? Yes! I called you an hour ago and you never told me anything. Because I wanted it to be a surprise. Oh, what a pleasant surprise! Oh, yes. <laughs> so spill the beans. You know, in the morning, I got a call from uh, DT Watch. So I rushed and I got to the office and I said, what's going on? And the man told me that uh, the contract that was awarded to the other man had been cancelled. I said, ah, what? What, what, what? What's the magic? He said, the man used fake alerts to bribe the chairman of the board. So the chairman got angry and cancelled the contract. Wow! And handed over to me! Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah! <laughs> oh, 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 yeah! 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 Without her, this wouldn't have been possible. Yes! If not for you, this wouldn't have been possible. This contract. You know, in the morning, I refused to take my calls. I was so dejected. I switched off my phone. I didn't want uh, communication with anybody. But she came and said, No, Daddy, turn your phone. You never can tell. I said, Please leave me alone. She insisted. In fact, she had to. In fact, she had to switch on the phone by herself. And the moment the phone came on, the call came in from the Director General of, of Works. So you can imagine if she wasn't there to persuade me to do that, or even to do it by herself. But Daddy did not believe. Uh, yes, I did it. But you know now, it, it's because of strings of disappointment over time. But from now onwards, I'll start believing you 100%. <laughs> it's called a celebration. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. One more breaking news. I'm going to be mobilized in the next one week. No. That's fast. Yes. You said there's no time to wait. <laughs> I can't wait to go and visit the this special news to me. Oh, yes. Our son. From now onwards, his um, uh, allowance in school will be tripled. Yes. I don't support that. Um, I do not support the children. I don't put it in the bag. Yeah. That's all right. I'll I'll let you manage that side. That's all right. Let's celebrate. All right. Yes. I don't get to drink. No, please do. Please do. Woo! 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 I'm a dinner. Come on, let's go. Come on. Come on. No, Daddy. No, I will not. Amara should come and open it. It's all about Tamara now, is it not? Because you want Tamara to do everything. You only gave me a hug. Did you praise me? But the moment Tamara stood up, you started praising her. The best child, the luckiest child, the great child. This How do you expect me to feel because you always do this?
I think um, is a special child. Or rather, let me say, gifted child. She's gifted. Hmm. I think Amara is more than special. She is what I call a mystery child. Yes. It's amazing. You know, there are things she does and it makes me wonder. You, you know, the other time I needed money and I asked the, the financial secretary mm -hmm. of the cooperative to mm -hmm. lend me some money from the pocket of the com committee. Mm -hmm. Plus. Yeah, from the cooperative. She said, she told me they didn't have enough on the purse. But Amara told me that the woman just doesn't like me. She had enough money, but she just didn't want to give it to me. I just overlooked that I didn't bother her about what she said until the chairperson told me that there was enough money. Imagine that. Yes, in the purse. So, you know, it baffled me, but I, I, I kind of pushed it to, to the side for her to have that information. There's something else about her. I, I used to think she was just um, another intelligent girl, you know, but the confidence and the certainty with which she says certain things, I know they are extraordinary. Right. Absolutely extraordinary. Right. You know, the other day when I was going to work, she stopped me and said, Mommy, today's going to be special. All that you lost in your office, you're going to get back a double fold. Wow. As I walked into that office, I was presented this letter of my double promotion. Wow. I mean, it's amazing. It, it, it's almost scary. Honestly. Uh, mm, but we thank God for her. Yes. We thank God for her. We thank God for her. We thank God for her. She's good, she's mm. great. Mm. She just reminds me of her people. She reminds Absolutely. me of my family, people. Mm. Mm. They're, they're, they're not like your people that are so selfish. You come in, you come again. They come again. What does it talk about that? <laughs> yeah, we all know the truth. She's a child of mystery. Alright. <laughs> oh! <laughs> what is it? What is it again? Hey, hey. Zubi, for your information, my status has changed. Changed how? My father now has a lot of money, so I am now a rich man's daughter. How come he suddenly has money for even lamenting about his poverty or deceit? Mm, let's say God did something for us. See, my father won a contract worth over 300 million to build an estate for the government. You see? That's cool money, you know? Serious money. The money is very plenty that my father is planning to move us out of this way. We are moving into our workshop. And is it planning on sending IMS? Wow, that's really great. Yes. So you see, I am no longer that poor ethanol that you feel in three, three thousand or that poor ethanol that you always do promise and fail. You are not doing promise and fail. No more promise and fail. No more promise and fail. So now, baby, you need the best idea. How bad? So soon? Yes, so soon. Did you know you can just say I'm not with you? Okay, okay, no problem. Let's get to my bunk first. And me, I won't be calling you to tell your house again. What was your friend? You won't be looking at me like that in the streets here. Me, I don't like you. Oh, come on. No one is telling at you. Mm -hmm. No one is telling at you. No, they are all cheaters. You don't have fun. I don't want to go to bed. Let's go take it. So, if you pay, 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 you
I will do anything. Don't forget to give me. If you do me, you promise I'll tell you. Oh, God, you will see me. I'm doing drama for you. 
I'm your in law. Hey, Jim. So, what? Hey, I got to know what's going on, what happens. Four more people are bringing the soup, the alcohol soup. I know she knows how to cook the delicious one, but that matter. Everybody told me so much about her food. Hey, this mugu is sleeping on me to mugu. You get to bring mugu. Yeah, I want to bring food. I want to chop I want to chop my own. Yeah, yeah, tomorrow this is my love house. Last, 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 last. Woo hoo! Who's that one for you? Where are you? Where's that baby? My love, where's that baby? My brother, you can't get me from that. No, come from that place. Are you stupid? Oh, yeah, my love. Why are you staring at me like this? Don't like me to as your love. I understand like this. So let her bring something to me. <laughs> let me eat. Do I know? Can I keep your own place? Oh, keep okay, it. It's yours. See, everything I have is yours and everything you have is mine. We are connected already. You are my love. Wonderful in love. My, uh, my, the black prize, eh? Oh, okay. It's your black prize, I guess. So, uh, maybe I come to one another. There are lots of people to be, to be one. Maybe more. I don't know what you want. Stop it. 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 Stop do you know these criminals? Do you know him? Do you know him? Oh, I'm ashamed of you, Beth. Eh? No, that we are not criminals. Oh. We are your in law. <laughs> you know, big men talk to big men. You see the kind of money I brought for the bad price. You will go. Don't be more. You want to tell you, you want to tell you, you want to tell you. Mugu! He's sorry, but I get my name. Oh, 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 where did we go wrong? Oh, you, we don't have to go wrong for this girl to be as bad as she is. Nenya, dating an androba. Ah! Hey, Chimo Ebere. Ebere, you have brought so much shame and reproach to this family. I'm sorry. How would you know a Exactly. How would you know the man is an armed robber when you have resisted and refused every attempt to make me a responsible child? Mm -hmm. huh? That's the kind of fool you'll be meeting. Uh -huh. What kind of long throat is this? Long throat is too much amongst all these children of nowadays. What is it that you need that is not provided? What is it as a child? Anything else yes. is Akilogono is go. What is it that you want in this family that is not given to you? How long to to bully you? Where am drama. Now look at you. Eh? Anyway, the good thing is that I know you didn't pick up this nonsense from my, from me or my family. I'm not maybe sway but I don't want your girl to ban me for cable. Yes. Totally unacceptable. Where did you get this character from? Answer. Where? Look at what she's wearing. Nanny for you. It can't want a weapon. Eh? Nana gave him Ozala Yamapta. That's the kind of thing they like. Look at what she's wearing. Every time I'm quarreling with her, why do you dress like this? Why do you dress? I say, I feel I, I, that's the way I, I feel fine like this. You see it? When I complain, those days I used to complain about what she, she used to wear. You see, she's a child, what they for Like so she must dress like other children. Now look at it. She's not going out half naked. 
Ah, no, 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 no. You see, I've always told you, emulate your younger sister. Walk in her footsteps, Simba. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I wonder that now. I should never tell her. Obviously, you do not she's know. She's even jealous of her. No, 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 you don't know anything. Nanny for you. So you follow an arm drop at the end of the day, what do you do? You blue fala, gunya for normal. Fatasia parade, Nata, Fasulana, Sunya no ball, no more, Sunya no ball, yeah. Hey! We're set to Lamata for the day. The basis is not no to go. Is it not what has been happening? It's okay, it's okay. 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 Do you know that because of the uh, of her involvement in this in this incident, I was I was helpless at the station. I could not answer the question of her involvement. It, it, it kept coming up. Hey, what about the girl? How did she get involved? In... I, I, I just had to leave. Thank God you're the one that went to the station. Omoro Kamaki is yet to report. That's why I cannot pursue this case to a logical conclusion. Oh, so what? Do you... Courtesy no, of you. I won't go. Because you see this thing you're doing, you didn't learn it from me. Eh? They suck your... Look, don't make me say things that I will regret. But it's better that we know. Mm. Eh? Can you be feeding a uh, job as with, with, with Bobby? Hey. Eh? Honey, it's okay. And the Bobby's a big one. Honey, it's okay, it's okay. Yeah, get out, get out. Get out! Leave, leave us. Thank God, Milk is not even... How can we not go back? Now, 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 how could robbers invade a house in the night only for them to just drop their arms and start misbehaving? One of them even, even slept off. Amara, tell us, what did you do to the robbers? I did not do anything. Come on, Amara. We're your parents. You owe us the truth. I saw you by the passage doing some incantations and using your hands in a funny way. You are obviously up to something, so why don't you share? Let us know. Amari, had your money. Who are your parents? Who else are you going to open up to if not us? But Dad and Mom, aren't you happy I did what I did? Well, of course we're happy. But we're also confused. How did you get the powers to do that kind of thing? I just did what I was instructed to do. Oh, oh, what do you mean, what you were instructed to do? Instructed by whom and where? How? Oh, I mean, come on. Not now. She will know. But not now. Get prepared. Fully prepared because she won't like what would follow. What would follow? What would follow? What, 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 what do you mean, what would follow? Like what? Mom, please, no more conversation. I'm feeling sleepy. I want to go to my room to rest. Please could be by this time of the day. Of a husband. 
for heart stroke for two years. Eh? And at the end of the day, he died. Yeah, Apo. Eh? That is not even the one that is paying me. Can I help you is that you people abandoned us. You left us when we needed you. Your own uncle. Orima. Can't you abandon you? Ah, no, 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 no. This thing you said is not acceptable. Were you not the one that said my husband and I should stop visiting you? You told us to stop coming because you felt that what we were bringing for you was not good enough. So you stopped us from visiting. I was in this. When did I tell you to stop coming? Wait, I remember you did it. That was um, the December before your husband died. Mm -hmm. Yes. And what was your problem? You said we, we visited with nothing. Even though we used to come with things. So what was the essence of coming to visit? We brought what we had. What we could afford. My nature plan. But that's by the way. For your information, I kept in touch with my uncle and I kept sending money into his account until he passed on. Uh, I did not know. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. You know, I was under pressure. My children got married and turned their backs on us. It was not easy. Oh. You are amazing. It's not possible. Your daughter, Jennifer, she is in a good position to take care of. Jennifer. Jennifer married an American. Beautiful. Tabunino, he put dollars. But before that exchange, is it dollar? I'm a mushi. You know, Rishi? I'm a mushi dollar. Since their father's burial, I have not set my eyes on her. She does not even call. I am telling you, if I call her, she will tell me, Mommy, God, they call. I will call you back. But she never did. She did not call me. Well, if you will not send money for me to eat well, dress well, then she will not mind. She did not. Go back for she didn't send to me. Hey! The one that is spending me first. Oh, 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 Mm. I understand how you feel. Mm. Oh, the chance in that. Then again, I think she's wanting what she's saying. But that doesn't mean she shouldn't look after her mother. Except maybe her mother wasn't such a good mother after all. I mean, like when she was young. I but Abba, no, Oprah Nancy, I know you, you, you were a good mother. Only open Abba. You know, you were fantastic. Your son, so too, is there. He has always been a wonderful child. He was trying, you know. He was trying before. He got married to a Ghana girl. Ghana. Since then, fifty kobo. Half. Bonkete, I have not seen from Somto till today. I don't know why my children turned their back on me after everything I did. Don't give them the best of life. Look at this. Mm. Yeah, that's enough. Maybe what you thought was a good life wasn't good enough. Aye. And that's why they are being turning their back on you now. Oh, by the way, I, I was cooking something when you came. Can you know? I sit up then I'll come and attend to you. Mm. 
Okay, I'm going to ask her for this. And then uh, they will ascend to the name. As will be the name, I'm going to go to the school. Yeah, I'm going to go to school. Can you see if you know her? I'm going to go to the school. 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 Get it, Jose. I knew my name, yeah, yo. We are the younger generation. But I'm going to get a young man. Let's see what we're like. Oh, you can't. I'm going to see what we're like. I'm going to see what we're like. I'm going to see what we're like. I'm going to see Understandable, Auntie. You remember? I mean, you've, this is the second time you're visiting my home ever since I got married. Yes. Yes. The only other time you saw them was when I visited, and then they were little children. It has not been easy with me, Oprah. You know that your brother is a difficult man. Getting married to a difficult man. It is not easy. I'm going to go, I'm going to go, I'm going to go. I barely have time for myself. Yeah, but for Zebem Gaga. Oh, my uncle was a very nice man, and everyone knew that. Are you not saying that I am lying? How can I say that? I'm not saying that. But we all know that my uncle was not a difficult person. In short, I personally felt that he was too soft. Is it? I will let you come home when you need me. I will show you what I do. Hmm. We are one big family. Yes. Yes. Hmm. And then go inside and drop your bag and come and help me in the kitchen. Hmm. And sit down in the bar. Yes. My stew will soon be done. Then I'll get you something to eat. Hmm. I'll go to the rice. Yes, and then we go add salad. Add salad. Add chicken. Fried one. Yeah. 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 Uh, you have cooler. Well, big one. And for taking away. For taking away. No, there is nobody to cook for me oh. again. A stupid girl I have in the house. She does not know how to cook continental. So what do you know? Can you see what you can with the camera on careful you could? I get in a cooler. All right, excuse me. Oh, plenty.
There is something I want to confirm for you. Something we learned in school today. <laughs> you know my brain is not as sharp as you are. But I used to be the best student those days in my class. And when I ask me. The passage says that some women push their husbands into having deadly ailments like heart attack, stroke, because there is no love and care anymore. Is that what they taught you in school? Yes. It is said that such women have high material demands and in the habit of separating their husbands from their families. Is it true? Who, 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 is, who is teaching you this nonsense? Is it in your exam? What exam? But why asked questions? Uh -huh. Yes. And they said that such women want their husband to die quickly, to get freedom of moving from one man to another. Yes. And when he dies, they can't even manage his business properly. And the business crumbles. Then they blame their husband's relative or the village people. Is teaching you people this nonsense. You are too young. You can want a cleaner. Ruben. I didn't know this kind of thing still exists in this life anymore. I thought every couple is like my dad. Because my dad loves my mom so much. I don't know if it still exists. You know you are still very young. Eh? Don't worry. Very soon you will come of age. Eh? These things you are asking is too complex. Eh? Eh? I, I thought your mother asked you to come and help her in the kitchen. Why are you here? Eh? Are you cash ma? Eh? Are you going to go I thought I told you to come and help me. I'm still here. Sorry, Mama, I was cheating. Hello. Just manage what we have. Manage it as you see it. Wait, 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 Next time, when you tell us you're coming, I'm an in here. We'll prepare salad for you. But please manage this. I don't mind if it will be wine with a little alcohol. Um, we don't have any alcohol. We only have juice and water. Get your auntie juice and Mm. 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 There's no problem. Mama, yeah, there is no broken. No broken mm. Mm. Until then, mm. when you come again. But I can't, but I will manage it. I hope you enjoy your food. I can manage. Just that there isn't enough paper. Mm. I like it. Whether there's paper or not, you know it's complete. Next time we come, I will join yours. You know that uh, some of us, we are used to good life and good food. Men know what there is, I eat it right without salad. But I will manage. Manage. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
It's just that uh, the devil came and spoiled things for me at the dying minute. But I will keep managing. Yeah. So you can always take your name to manage my team. Uh, yeah. I know that. You need to watch what they teach you to do in school. The doctor came and was telling me that they taught them some things in school about uh, bad marriage, a bad wife, some nonsense. Yeah. What do you know? Bad wife? Hmm. I mean, why did they teach her to be a She said that uh, some women who kill their husbands just to be following men up and down. Yeah. Why would they teach a small girl to that kind of a thing in school? I don't know why the teacher will be teaching this small girl this kind of a thing. Eh? The machine is too young. Discuss it. No, no, no. You don't need to ask her. Eh? Don't ask her. I only told you as a mother. It's okay, eh? so that you will ask. The officer, you will monitor her. Eh? Do you know I found out lately? My children's body and soul were not at all. Their body was in the house, but their soul were somewhere else with somebody. They are among strangers. Yes, you need to start monitoring your own. Monitor what they watch on TV and then what they teach them in school. Especially this one. Call me around back at night, right after them, pump, pump, pump. Monitor her. Yeah. Please. You have to listen to me. One year is not enough. I still have a lot to do. My mission is not yet complete. No. Listen to me. I need one more year, please. One year is not enough. I still have a lot of things to do. I cannot tell my mom about it. No. One more year, please. One year. That's all I ask. What is the matter? What is it? Is there a problem? You're asking me. Did you just ask? I should be the one asking you if there is a problem. What is it? There is no problem. But you were talking in your sleep. Yes. You were seeing all kinds of things. When? Just now. Is it true? Marachi? What kind of a dream is that, Marachi? What kind of a dream that will make you be saying those kind of weird things? It's a dream. I cannot even remember what I said. I can't remember what happened. I'm tired. This is 
is the kind of new booty boy she keeps saying each time we are sleeping. Amara will not sleep and she wouldn't let me sleep either. Her own Owanje is on another level. I've told you. Don't you ever call your sister Owanje. Why would you say such a thing? People actually talk in their sleep and I'm sure you're one of them. No, mommy. Even if I talk in my sleep, I can never say those, those weird things. Did you hear what she was saying? She said things. She said one year, two years. This one, that one. That girl is highly possessed. She's possessed, mommy. Ha, I said it. Don't ever refer to her as being possessed. Don't ever say that of your sister. How wicked can you be? Okay. There's no problems. No, Wahala. I've heard you. Even after witnessing all that she did, you're still supporting her. You're still supporting her, mommy. If I tell you she's a cultist, you say no. If I tell you she's possessed by the evil spirit, you say it's a lie. Even after seeing it, mommy, you have seen it to two eyes. Nobody wants to believe. There is no problem. One day, she and her evil people will carry all of us to the river. In fact, they might even throw us into the lagoon. It is you that will be thrown into the lagoon. I will go, but well, one how, one how, mommy. Because if she disturbs my sleep this night, I will fling her through the window. I'm, in fact, are you still dead? Get out! I'm going to sleep. Get out! She's a child of history. Well, she's a child of history. Listen to her. Happy birthday, my darling. Oh my god. This is your car. Dad, you got mommy car? Yes, yes. Wow. This is huge. This is for mommy. I can't Brand believe new. this. <laughs> Come How on, let me, let, me, let me. Give me a car. Give me away. Give me away. Let me celebrate my wife. Ah. Happy birthday. Oh my wife, god. Nina. You got me a car. Oh, yes. oh thank oh, you. Thank you, you so much. You have been there for me all these years. <sighs> Even when I was struggling, you were there, you oh. never relented. You supported me in every way. I love you, I celebrate you anytime, any day. Thank you. This is a small thing, Thank you. bigger ones are coming. This is not small at oh. all, but you're a good <laughs> man. Congratulations. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. Oh. Oh. Baby. Oh this is just the beginning. Oh, oh yes. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Something special. Ah, Damn, I didn't know you were this romantic. Girl. Seriously, I, I didn't know how this, you were going to get home next time. I ordered this from. from. abroad. Wow. wow. This is special for you. It's a specially packaged wine for you. Just touch. <laughs> just, just touch. Touch. <laughs> open. Uh, yeah. Open, open. Uh, 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 wow. Bring it out. Oh, yeah. Are we popping this right now? Uh, oh, they will pop it upstairs. Uh, yeah, we should have yeah. <laughs> popped it over the sky. We'll pop it upstairs, huh? yes. Oh yeah. my god. Happy birthday to you. Oh, yeah. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Happy birthday, Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Oh, oh my god, you're a birthday gift too. Oh, where is your one now? Oh, no, he's a student. Uh, he's a student, he just came in from school. <laughs> oh my god. Oh yeah. All beautiful gifts. I wish the world would see what is in here. Oh yeah. Oh! I love that. Just hold. Let, 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 let me show you. Let me show you. Please. Let me show you. Let me show you. No. Open the car. Can Open it. Excuse me. Okay, let's go. Ah, ah, come on, yeah. calm down. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yes, come on. My chest can you calm down? One me, me, I will drive, bro. Ah. <laughs> oh, this is beautiful. The smell is different. Thank you, thank you. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Mommy deserves everything. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Mommy deserves everything. I put this wine inside the car. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what time? Yeah, yeah. Mommy! Yeah, yeah. Now I'm going to wait for a drive. Uh, not, not yet. Uh -huh.
we'll go upstairs, we we'll eat and drink, and then we we'll go out for a drive. Okay, okay. Hey. Hey. Okay. Hey. Hey. Wow. Wow. This guy is really it's big. Perfect, Oh yeah, oh yeah, eh, 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 eh. And I know you are mixed into your music now. No, 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 no. Wow. Oh la la la, Buga. Oh yeah. This is a Buga situation. This is a Buga situation. I can't see him. He was mom's second cousin. I actually have an appointment with some of my friends, so. I think I'll go visit him later today. Okay. Oh, yeah. But for now, that jollof rice I cooked. Oh, yeah? Let's go and do it. After we eat them. One way. Woo! Like Mommy, you are shakalai. You can't eat them. After you. After, after you. you. After you, baby. After oh, you. Oh, you're clever. <laughs> after uh -huh. you, baby. Come after us. After us. After us. After us. You must <laughs> go. <laughs> you know, I am happy I have a finished money. At least uh, this meat now will enter my body. <laughs> you know, uh, this was how we used to enjoy good life, good money, good everything. <laughs> my dear, do you know when we had money, when there was money, yeah, this is how we used to enjoy. Before everything spoils. Yeah. Well, my husband, when he was alive, we used to travel to different countries. And whenever we are going, we used to enter first class. Not the economy. Oh. Economy is for small, small boys and girls that are just making money. Whoa. <laughs> first class tickets. Whoa. You mean to say you've traveled to foreign countries? Yes. We have traveled to London, New York, California, Australia. In fact, the last place we traveled to before my husband became broke and sick was uh, Japan. Jaja, Pampan, <laughs> Japan. <laughs> Hey. Well, yeah. why so many travels? Oh, to enjoy. To have. Enjoy life. And when you make money, you enjoy life. Then we didn't come to this world to suffer. Yeah. You need to travel and meet people. What's your work? Nice. Mm. But doesn't it cost a lot? Why do they make money if not to spend it? A man should make enough money to take care of his family. Eh? Take his family, you know. Oh, oh, yana boy, Larry Anya. Eh? Where can he no no go? Where who can Eh? Do you know? Eh, the last time we went to London, I went to London Bridge. And before my very eyes, I watched the bridge open and close. <laughs> it was very, very fun. Eh, eh, eh. do you know the bridge? How would I know the London Bridge when I've not been to London? But I, I think I've seen it on TV or something. One of those that programs. I'm okay, Nikina TV. Oh, Unem, how will you go? I forgot, you know, your husband just made money recently. Your father just made money recently. But you have to tell him to take you people around so that uh, you will enjoy and see life. Eh? <laughs> when you go, also remember to visit the London Eye. You know, I entered it and uh, when I climbed, it was taking me round and round and round and round and round. <laughs> it was scary. You were very fun. You will love it. Tell your father to take you to London. <laughs> I wish I am still young. 
and there is money. This is my money. I would have come to America to unmoon myself. Yeah. And there is no money. <laughs> when you people get to London, tell your father to change all this furniture. Oh, there are good chairs in London. <laughs> London seats. People who know where we go. I'm not big. I'm not a banana bank. I'm a macabaria day. Let me enjoy this chicken. <laughs> the juice, even though it's not too cold. <laughs> yeah, day. You see, my friend. Mm. There's nothing I will not see to hear. What did you hear? Chinelo of yesterday. Chinelo, apa she chinelo? Yeah? She's cruising in a, in, a, in a very big ride now. Fully air conditioned. Eh? Yes, so. Tell me something. To think the husband, I now just want to build a house that they want to move into. I'm telling you. Hey! I'm telling you. You see, her life has changed. Do you know that this human being, Chinelo, came to me begging at the point of tears? Telling me to borrow her 50,000 from the cooperative. Yes, now. I thought I don't have. Are you serious? She even requested for my own personal money. I said I don't have. Hey. She was even listing my properties for me, telling me, telling me my husband has filling station and all that. Ah, ah. Listing properties. So she expects me to give account to, uh, 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 for her. Should I? So that woman is like that. More than that. She hey. told me uh, 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 her girl is in school. The boy went to school. She went to pay school fees. Blah, blah, blah. She's cobbler, she's dialless. She wants to die. Excuse you. Wonders shall never end. Is she the only one that has children? I wonder. Oh. Hey! Every time she Imagine. keeps her shoulder so high that like she's wearing shoulder pad. I, I, I always for me holier than down. All the time. Eh? My sister no can more. I wonder. See me, oh. So this lady came to test me. She came to test my financial mm. status. Just to test my financial status. Eh? Can you imagine? Mm. My sister, this is serious. Maybe it's because of the contract her husband won. <laughs> contract, contract, baby. What is he contracting? Is he a good builder? <laughs> what does he know? <laughs> what can he contract? Oh, is he the building? That's almost one side that he built for Margaret. <laughs> not like I'm not like I'm trying to spoil his hand work, but hey, you God. know now. The other day I saw cracks on the wall and I was like, mm. okay, maybe you come and patch it. Oh my god, you are very funny. Hey. It's true now. I'm not trying to spoil oh his hand work. Oh my god. Hi, boy, eh? this is serious. But that man is I, I don't think I, I don't think that man is useful. Just to paint wall and if this contract is because oh contract is. Ah. Anyway. Her own is even better. No me that my husband is lazy around. I was about to be that. Wanting to be the man of the house. Man of the house for nothing. Hey, my friend, you are suffering. My sister. It's so obvious. You see? I'm even tired of it. You give the avenue for tolerance. If I were you, you make way goes. You would deal with him. Yes. You're a very beautiful lady. You are still very fresh and young. Walk on the street and you get excuse Excuse me, excuse me. You are wasting in the arms of this man. Oh, you don't know? My sister, what can I do? I'm only tolerating you for the sake of my children. I leave this children thing, please. And live your life. Eh? What is wrong with you now? But I love you so much. Oh, wonderful. You love him. Yes, I do. So very much. I do. Mm -hmm. Let me advise you. Hey. Thank you. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Ah, you know Walk at all. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Please, I want you to tell your husband to give me money to start up my business again. Like five million naira. I will manage it. Is it too small? Yes. It's too small. I said it. You know the kind of business I used to do. Jewelry business. Yeah. <laughs> what of millions of naira? Yeah. It's just that uh, yeah. my children squandered my capital and rendered me cobbless. 
<laughs> but I still have uh, the contacts of those my suppliers. All I need is just the money. And in LA, they will bring in goods. Where is this going to be doing later? I will tell my husband when he comes back that you won't fight with them either. Or more. Oh, oh, for your business. Yes, I don't know how to bless you. And then, uh, please, when you are telling him, be smiling. <laughs> like this. <laughs> so that he will know he was so, so genuine. Remember, it was because of my husband and I that they agreed and allowed him to marry you. He was very poor. Oh, no, no. When he came to marry you. Mm -hmm. So he owes us so Jimoko. And this is the right time for him to pay. Can you hear that? We are one happy family. And then when they are. So, what do you At least we are trying our best. Mm -hmm. I will tell you that you need 5 million naira for business. So we can give it to you. Yeah? That's great. Thank you. Well, if you do that, God will bless you. And in fact, eh, I will send uh, my account number. I will send it again uh, in case. Uh, 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 so that uh, you will make the transfer sharp, sharp. Try. You know that every time you come, we load you with gifts and food stuff. Eh? The money I even transfer, that you send to go my account number now. Even before visiting me, that they are in a cell there. Check how much I sent. Yeah, yeah, you still want five million, Mr. So Quadrio. We'll do our best. It's not the money you sent, that no problem. It's not as if I am a beggar. It was a green fish. They, they, they are bent, they are make condition to be like this. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, this is so it. Look at of him done. And this small chicken chain that I will be feeding from hand to mouth. Is that what you call here? How much you have to help with that? I have helped and we need to reciprocate the help. Let him settle me. And so I can start up my jewelry business. We are one happy family. One name, one name. I think it's about time. Uh, okay. Yes, sir. Won't you go and drop me with your car? I <laughs> drop you. I see that. I jump on the I can't drop you with my car. You see, I need to be ready as my husband. Uh, can you not uh, drop me off with your car? Oh, no, no, no. You have a car, is a new car. Don't drive it anyhow. Uh, you can go downstairs. Let's take it and pick up a ticket. Drop. Okay. 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 You know, your new store, a condition like your own. That is what fits me. Yeah, you got drop. What fits you and what you have are two different things. Uh, you used to have an air conditioned camera. Like, oh, you know, then we were poor, now we are rich, yeah? and now you're poor. So you manage what you can afford. So you go home, take care of your and, and, and go home. Yes, this is it. Yeah, you will not use your car. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, they are watching. They are watching their favorite cartoon. Why are they? Shut the door. Oh, the Oh, just one carton. Oh, it's not one carton. Hey, if it's a oh, wow, just one minute. Now that oh, you are going to go to my desk. I'm off to the market to go and buy what mommy asked me to buy for her. Why are you staring at me like that? 
See, make sure you cook that food in the kitchen. Put mine in a flask and cover it very well. I don't want to hear stories when I come back home. Hold it. Mom and Dad warned you to stay away from boyfriends since the last incident. Didn't they? I don't understand you. What boyfriend are you talking about? The one you're going to see. The one that will disappoint you. It's you that they will disappoint. You're the one I'm arranging. You don't know your elder sister. Your only sister, that. Why is it that every time you keep seeing white buttons on my head? You can't even see something good. It's only what you do that I'm instructed to talk about. It's a lie. You say these things out of jealousy. Your jealousy is too much, that is why. Why do you always put your eyes and mouth into what does not concern you? Why am I actually? That boyfriend of yours will break your heart and your neck. Holy Ghost fire. Back to sender. Prophet of Doom. Watch what he said to me. Marachi, I am not afraid of you. If you like, tell mom and dad when they come back. After all, I've respected them enough by staying out of relationships. Did you? Shut up. Shut up your mouth. You think it's easy? Is that what you think? Are you insane? Am I not going to get married? Has your elder sister should get married before you? Or do you think that my husband will fall from heaven? Is it not true relationship that me I will get married? I am Marachi. Decent relationship. See, you are still a child. That is why you talk like a baby. When you grow up, will understand what it means to be in love. For now, enjoy your childhood. And don't forget to cook that food. Cover my well, because I don't like cold food. Shut up. See ya. Alex. Yeah, Ken. Alpha. Yeah, I'm coming with that, my new girl. Are you serious? So soon? I hope she won't suspect anything. <laughs> no, no, no. She don't suspect anything. No, I told her I'm taking her out of town for a lunch. Hmm. That's, that's a good one. Yeah, and she told me she doesn't want any of her family member to know about dating. Don't worry about that. She's really madly in love with me. Whatever I tell her is a go. <laughs> All right, no problem. I'm, I'm at the Zamba Junction. Uh, I hope you have everything with you. Yeah, no, no, no. Everything is in tight. Sure, sure, sure. Don't worry about it. Okay? All right. <laughs> oh, Allah. <laughs> All right. Okay. Sweet. Oh, sorry for coming late, okay? <laughs> no, 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 don't mention, don't Hope mention. I didn't keep you waiting. No, 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 you are good at keeping time and I love that. <laughs> I'm always conscious of time, yeah? Yeah, I can see. Uh, we have to go, uh, my friend is waiting for us there. You mean Ken? Wow, exactly. Exactly. Uh, you met him once and you remembered him. That's cool. That's because both of you are so involved with each other. I so love yeah, smart you... girls. Let's go. <laughs> okay. All right. She's a child of
I told you he would do it, didn't I? You're very lucky. You're so, so lucky. You would have been gone by now. Gone forever. Okay. What are you talking about? What do you mean gone forever? He wanted to use you for money rituals. You're so lucky. If he had gone on with that, our family will be thrown into mourning and agony. How did you get to know everything? I told you beforehand, didn't I? Yes, you did. But I didn't understand. What did you think stopped the car? I made one of them slip off. You didn't see. You didn't understand because you were so bent 
on hitting me. My God. Kumara, I'm so sorry. Thank you so much for saving my life. I never knew you would do this for me. I've been blinded by envy to see the power and goodness in you. It's okay. Saving you from yourself is part of my mission. Mission? Yes. And I promise never to harass nor hate on you again. Never again. It's okay. I was never going to tell them. I just wanted you to learn your lessons. Thank you very much. Thank you. Madam, Master, I am not happy. Why, what could be the problem? Sorry? I wouldn't have let this thing go, but there is an urgency that needs a follow-up that you and your husband need to know about it. What could that be, Master? Your daughter insulted me. Your daughter insulted a man of God. The apple of God's eyes, Pastor James. When would this girl stop? When would a bearer stop? Eh? It's not a bearer. I mean, Amara. Amara insulted you? Yes. That's all I have. Only placenta, yeah. <laughs> See, let me tell you. The other day I was discussing with my choir member, in fact, my choir mistress. All of a sudden, in fact, I was discussing about our youth convention that is coming forth. All of a sudden, I saw Amara walking. Then she stopped and beckoned on me that I should come. Imagine. In fact, I was very, very flabbergasted. Very, very surprised. How could that girl ask me to come instead of her to come to me? See, but as a gentle man of God, as an apple of God's eyes, as an aspiring G.O. that is full of humility and following the way of Jesus Christ, the way of Apostle Paul. Get to the point. I, I decided to excuse the choir member and I approached to her. Do you know the reason why she called me? No, you tell me. She asked me that I should leave that girl, in fact, that my choir member alone, that she's innocent. So what, what, what did you do? That, see, he said that if I did not leave her alone, that she's going to report me to Gio, my general overseer. Why? <sighs> Why would Amara do that? See, the only thing that marveled me is the audacity, the alacrity she used to call me. La casuntele and you humbly answer. Yes. Okay. See, madam, mm. this time around is not about something strange or something ridiculous. See, uh, after that incident, the Spirit of God revealed to me Libra that there is a satanic work going inside her life. 
that your whole family is sitting on a temple. I mean, your whole family is in danger. How? Madam, she has a spiritual husband. I mean, Omono Banje. My daughter? Yes! I don't understand it, but she has never caused any trouble amongst us. Rather, she has brought us good things, you know? Look at The marine spirit has enveloped her body. And the earlier we tackle it, the better for us. So what do we do? We need to invite her. Because the way Satan works is, when he gives you something on the right hand, he collects it back from the other hand. We need to invite her and interrogate the spirit in her so that we can deal with it. You know my daughter Ma, she will not agree to come to the church. So, see, let, let me tell you. She is your daughter and a little girl for that matter. Can you feel it, well? Yes, a little girl but with a big mind. She acts like an adult. So? Well, let's do it this way. You visit us, you know, we invite you. You visit us, then you'll be able to tackle that. No, I promise you, I tell you, I that I'm Anyway, madam, uh, I'm going to check my diary concerning my program. Then I'll get back to you. God bless you. Yes, you too, Pastor. Take it easy. I admire your humility. One Marine spirit. She's a child of mystery. Small power, and when the bigger power jump the small power, the small power will succumb. The small power will do harder, will be crushed. Eh? Let me tell you, in the name of Jesus, but you know what? You are going to shut fire seven times. Do you hear me? Yes. One, two, three, go! Fire! 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 fire. Let me tell 
Savior, in the mention of the name of Jesus, every name on the heaven, on earth, on the earth. Yes, yes, yes. See, see, when the people have a big power, when the bigger power confronts the small power, the small power comes. Well, because we have the sovereign God, we now have to tell it. It's our job, it's our calling. We know. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. You say every knee will bow. Yes. Not every backside. No. Can you see them? Can you see them? Can you see them? Can you see them? See the scripture of man? They are here. They are here. Look at, look at. Can, 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 can you see them? Look at this one. Look at this one. Look at this one. Look at this one. Madam, set fire. Set fire. 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 Hello, kitties. How are you? Amara, what is this? Talk to me now. What is the problem? Amara, Chin. Amara. What is the problem? Talk to me now. Did mommy scold you? Say something now. What is the problem? Say something now. I'm a rich. I'm a rich. With Amarachi, she's not talking to me. She is not talking to me either. Wow. To think that I am beginning to like her. I don't even get used to her. Now she's come out with a new format. And you people say she's not Obanji. Don't, please. Don't call her that. I think she's angry with me. Why? Pastor came here for deliverance and praying us over, and I guess that is what is upsetting her. <laughs> Sounds funny, but it's not funny. Mommy, <laughs> hello, this is happening in this house behind my back. Who invited the pastor and why? Pastor James invited us. No one invited Pastor James. He was here on his own accord and um, it wasn't funny at all. But please, I wouldn't want your father to hear about this. You know, he has never wanted anyone, any outsider getting involved in a mouse case. So we keep it um, separate. <sighs> Do not tell me anything. We do not discuss anything. Meanwhile, I'm starving. Is there food for me? Uh, no. Start with this. Take it, man. Don't help yourself. She's lucky she doesn't put on weight. She's a child of history. Oh. 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 Oh.
Uh, have I caused you or died any damage in this no. house? No. Have I assaulted or insulted anyone? No. Why ask all these questions? Why did you bring that pastor to molest me? I... Well, that wasn't the intention. It's just that after you told me that you insulted him in church, I, I felt I should bring him to come and talk to you. I, I meant no harm. I was doing it for your own good. Doing it for my own good? By bringing the pastor. Well, I, he said he needed to deliver or pray for you, either or. Deliver me from what? Well, you see, you've, you've been acting strange lately. You know, like the other time you were saying things like, um, you live no more here, and then you refuse to go abroad to study. And so many other things I cannot readily remember. I'm a bit worried about you. I'm, if he says he can deliver you, then it's all well and good because I'm anxious. I, I know you don't want me to die of anxiety. I'm just praying that if he delivers you, then everyone will be fine. It will be one happy family I once understand. again. I understand. You do. Can you tell Pastor James to come again for the deliverance? Oh, really? Yeah. You're in agreement now. He has to finish what he has started for the truth to be revealed. Okay. Uh, fine, I, I, I'll do that. I, I, I will tell him to come back again. What? What made you change your mind? <sighs> That's all good. I mean, if I'm not trying to gain guy, careful, see. That's why I want to Madam, I have a final revelation. Yes, concerning your daughter Amara, our daughter. Lema ya kasuke telebra shaka talibra seke the spirit of God. Lema seke She has a stubborn marine spirit. Yes. And it's very, very afraid. It's very, very cunning. Yes. Lema ya kasuntra boya kasuntra ba. See? It wants to make this place a comfort zone. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. As long as your daughter is still living in this house, the marine spirit will not depart from this house. Yes! Not depart. Yes! Yes! She needs to go to the altar of God. Yes! When she stays in the water of God, the power of God will envelop her. When the power of God envelop her, she will transform. She will be metamorphosed. She will be transfigured for better. I mean, her story will change. Yes. I know. Mother. Yes, you need to prepare her right now. You need to prepare your daughter, Amara, for work with sojourn in the church at the altar of God. Yes, for prayer and fasting, so that she will encounter the undiluted power of God. Yes, See, it is for better of this family. It is for betterment of her. It is for betterment of the Church of Christ. Yaka Saka. Young lady, Amara, rise, let us go. Pastor, I, I will bring her personally to your church. No, 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 
Salibra Seca, Talabu Sindaraba, Nimayaka Seca, that the Spirit of God is talking. Yes, I'm hearing the voice of the Spirit. Ah, Lima Yaka Seca, Tarababa Seca, Taraba, eh, Labra Catalabra Seca, Madame Catalabra Seca, shall to follow me now. Now, on that, see, look at Papa says, We are not resting against flesh and blood. But against the principalities, against the powers, against the powers of darkness of this heaven. See, I have to do it right now. She has to follow me right now because uh, the devil is running to strike. Yes, to intensify. It's evil. Yes. Please. Let us wait for her father to come. No, no, no. He will rank her us. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, Jesus, I love you. Jesus, I love you. Oh, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost. So, she has to go now. Huh? Oh, never. Yasaka Suntala Prosaka Talabakata. The Spirit of God is talking. Let him who has ear hear the voice of the Lord. Arise! Arise! <laughs> Breaking news. What? Mm. I met with Pastor James. Huh? He said you know second daughter. She's possessed. Ah, possessed. Possessed of what? Eh, uh eh, -uh, his ice cream. <laughs> yes, now nah, goodie bag. <laughs> She's Mama possessed of you. mommy water spirit. Yeah, very funny. Obanji. Ah, ah. Everything. Every darkness for his possession. She has all. Complete demon. Hmm. Is it not the same girl that passes by my house to go to school? Ah. So possessed people don't go out. Hmm. They don't go to school. They don't go to. They don't go to church. Eh? They don't go to the market. Those people that used to fall, that used to break chain in the church. Who are they? Eh? I'm telling you, somebody is possessed. You know that each time I look at that girl, each time she sees me, there's this. Mysterious thing I know I know about that girl. I just don't like that family at all. You know me, I have, you know that me, I have I have a discerning spirit. Chai, such a pretty and nice girl. Who is pretty and nice? So arrogant, very, very arrogant thing, like the mother. I beg. Do you know that each time this girl, this girl, this girl sees me? There's this there's this look I see about her, and I know that, that, that girl, there is something mysterious about her. Yes now. Yeah. So, Mama Ikechi, did the pastor conduct the deliverance? Ah, Jambini. Bebe Kwanu. He does not work like that, my sister. At times it will work. At times again it will not work. You understand? So it's nobody's fault. Those people in the church, that the pastor will say, hey, hey, hold, hold, hold. From the left or the right, ushers help, ushers help. <laughs> they came with what? Mikechi, I'm not funny. Spirits. They will still go back with the same spirit. They do still so. They don't work like that. Hi. This must be a problem to that family. Mighty problem, big one. <sighs> I wish I could feel better. From what? Malaria or typhoid? That's the person possessed. Mama, I guess. It's a full of blood possessed. Hey. Ah uh ah. -uh. I mean, I mean, you know why I said they use drip, cheat on me water. This is serious. It's a full of blood. It's in, 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 in born, in built. And it will affect the family very well. <laughs> not like I don't wish they were. Me too. This is not. It's a very serious matter. <laughs> for them, but not for me. Uh-huh. Mm. We have wasted too much time tracking this. See, I have a lot of things to do. In fact, I need to attend to my crusades and conventions. Yes. Young lady, stand up. Go inside there and pick your things. Let us go now. Save your family from destruction and humiliation. Pastor James. Yes. 
This format of yours is going to end today. Lick a suit and go suit. What are you saying? You call an order to come sleep in the altar for one week fasting and praying. Rather, it's one week sleeping with you. You evil spirit! How dare you talking to a man of God like me? A sparring geo like me. You shut up. You've slept with girls for so long. What? You're serving yourself, not God, you man of iniquity. People like you are actually the problem with the church. You call an order. You prescribe one with fasting and prayer. Only to sleep with girls. Rape them. Torture them. Threaten them with all kinds of spiritual lies. If they try to expose you. Then you move to another girl. What's so disgusting? How dare you? I say, how dare you? Such lies against a man of God like me, you or that be, man of God like me. You be quiet. You've done this to so many girls and gone free, but not anymore. I warned you to leave the new chorister. I told you to stay away from the new chorister, but instead of heeding to my advice, you turned around and want to take advantage of me. But you don't know that what is inside of me is greater than what is inside your lustful self. See, madam, madam. Warn your daughter, I mean, warn your daughter. She is telling a man of God with power, with spiritual power. <sighs> like a suit. Mama, please stop. Allow me to talk. You will leave this house right now and never to step your feet here again. And when you go, repent. Repent and ask for forgiveness. It's somehow that the leadership of the church hasn't found out about you. Perhaps you have accomplices. Leave this place and let me not see your legs into this house again. Just leave. Just She's a child of mystery. She's a child of mystery. Listen to You're seated here, staring into space. Why didn't you just turn off the lights and go to bed? Get prepared. I'll leave soon. Is there anything else you want me to do for you? I ask again. Is there anything else you want me to do for you before I leave? Who are you? I am Oyelodia, your grandmother. You took care of me when no one else did. Because of my poor sight, you took me wherever I wanted to go. You did everything that someone at your young age wouldn't do for me. So, I'm here to repay you for everything you've done, for all the goodness you did for me. I have limited time. I will lose. I 
I warned you. I warned you, didn't I? I warned you that my time would be up soon. I ask again. Is there anything else you want me to do for you before I leave? I was the one who made those armed robbers drop their gun and sleep. No one has ever fallen sick since I came into this house. I hear the bells when she calls herself a man. I also sent her from her boyfriend who wanted to use her for rituals. I made dad get those contracts and also made mom get double promotion in her office. Many other things I don't know of. My time will soon be up. When exactly will your time be up? When I'm 17 years. I shall leave the night before my 17th birthday. I came in this body as your daughter to help you. Nene's daughter. Ow. Your granddaughter. Chinelo. Yes, come, 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 come. Hi. Hi. Oh, oh. my daughter, you are welcome. Thank you, Mama. You are so grown up now. I can't see well anymore. But I can see a young big girl standing in front of me. <laughs> yes, Mama. We are on holiday, so my mom told me to come over to help you out. Oh. Thank you so much, my daughter. Thank you so much. God will bless you for me. Amen. Mm. That's not been easy for me, my daughter. Mm. I don't see well anymore. And from time to time, I usually fall down when I take a walk. Mama, mm. sorry. Don't worry. From now on, as long as I'm here, you will not fall down. Oh! Thank you so much, my baby. Ah! God will bless you. Amen. Amen. God will bless you. Ah. Let's go inside. Uh, hey, hey, wait. That reminds me. What about your parents? Yeah. Mama, they are fine. They asked me to greet you, including my brother. My daughter Nena, God will bless her and her family Amen. for me. Amen. She used to come and see me, but I know it's not easy for her, especially a married woman with children in the city. Now she sent you to come and help me in her place. God will bless you. Amen. Oh. Ah. Thank you so much. God bless you. It's <laughs> mm. Long I took something like this. Okay. Thank you so much, my daughter. Oh, my hmm. I have two children your mother and my son, Daniel. Daniel used to take care of me, 
until he got married to that woman and everything changed. He now sees me as a total stranger. He built his house over there and abandoned me here all to myself. I don't know his children. I don't even know their names or what they look like. They don't come to the village to see me. The wife said I am a witch. Hey, mom is going to break that. No, mom, you're not a witch. You're a wonderful grandma. Mm. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, my daughter. Daniel sent somebody to take care of me. But she ended up stealing all my things and ran away. I almost died because I was very sick and nobody to cook for me. It's by the grace of God that I'm still alive. You not die. God will not allow you to die, Mama. God forbid. Mama, don't worry. My mother and I we are here. We will take care of you. God forbid. God will not allow anything, anything that will kill you. will be far away from you, Mama. Amen. Amen. Hey, Amen. Thank you so much, my daughter. Mama, I don't need to thank you. Thank you so much. You are yes. different. You and your mother are different. My daughter, please. Do not change from this good character of yours. For it will take you very far. Don't need to worry, Mama. Mama will never change it. Mama, I'm here for you. Thank you so much. God will bless you for me. Mama, God will bless you. Don't worry. Nothing will happen to you. I'm here. I will cook. I will sweep. I will wash. I will climb the I will do everything, Mama. In fact, what do you even want to eat? Name anything. Pounded yam or rice or anything. I will cook it. Pounded, yeah. Yes, Mama. So you can pound? Yes, I can pound now, Mama. Hey! I will cook anything for you. Don't Do worry. Do you know that it's been long I ate pounded yam? Ah, are you serious? Yes. Hey. And I would like to eat pounded yam. Don't worry, I will cook it for you, hey. Mama. Thank you. Hey, Mama. Ah. God bless you. Amen. 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 And amen. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, thank you. I'm so happy. Look at your yeah. presence here is making me I'm happy. Here for you, don't hey, worry. I used to be all by myself. Nobody to talk to. Hey. Nobody to laugh don't at. Don't worry, we will just. And you tell me folks. I've always heard of these folk toast. Yes. Too, so I would like to hear I them. I have enough for you. Hey, thank God. I have enough you. for you. Hey. But why not? See, I want you to have yeah. some too. Yes. Yeah. Yes, so, uh, <laughs> mm -hmm. mm. yeah, yeah, yeah. oh, well. Thank you. Life is not what you think at all. This life is beyond human comprehension. Life is not what we think at all. This life is beyond human comprehension. If you like to think yeah, from now till tomorrow. You not go think it's understand this life for oh. if you like you think I'm from now till tomorrow you not go fit understand anything you can not understand if you like you think oh. from now till tomorrow you not go fit it's understand this life for oh. oh. this life is this If you like to take care from now to tomorrow, you're not gonna think it's understand this life for never look down on anyone, no matter difficulty or impossible it may be. Everybody is important, no matter how little. 
and she may look. You have seen the not right power on face. Power is inside. This is mystery. This is mystery. Life is not what you think at all now. This life is beyond human comprehension. Life is not what we think at all now. This life is beyond human comprehension. If you like you think from now to tomorrow, you knock off it to understand. This life of if you like you think from now. Till tomorrow, you're not gonna fit understand anything at all. Hi, hi. I'm Lila and you. Um, my name is Tinubu. Um, I've been seeing you in this village for quite some time now. I guess you just came back from the city. Um, yes, I came from Lagos. Really? <laughs> yeah. Lagos? Oh, I'm so happy. Thank God. Well, I am. I came from Lagos too. I'm so glad at least now I can see someone I can talk to. All like this village can preach. Ah. But the people of this village are very nice and simple people now. <laughs> Who said? Nice, you said. Well, all I can see in them is this bushy and timid character. Like my mommy just sent me here to punish me. Ah. Letting me stay with my grandma is just a total punishment. I stay with my granny too, but not as punishment. <laughs> really? Yes. Okay, please, can you just tell me about it? <laughs> I think that will be for some other time. Right now, I'm going to home to prepare lunch for me and my granny. I just came back from the market. Okay, no problems. Maybe we'll see some other time. Sure. <laughs> okay, bye. Bye-bye. Um, you can go and see your mother. Quit her on our behalf. I'd rather stay with my kids. The kids? The kids are okay. Nothing will happen to them. Really? Yes, nothing will happen to them. Anyway, this is village. And I don't want these evil people to use their juju on my children. So I'd rather stay with them than go in there. Oh, come on, sweetheart. The children are okay. In my kindred, nobody does juju. You know it. Oh, I know nothing. Speak for yourself. Okay, it's all right. I think all of us can go and see Mama. Actually, Mama wants to see the kids too. Huh? I should take my children to go and see your mother? I will do no such thing. With her long stories. <laughs> no, please, go and see your mother. I'm not stopping you. See your mother, but check time. Ooh. Make it snappy. We have a long way to go. Ah, it's getting sweetheart. late. You think it's a good idea? I know. <laughs> don't worry, we'll soon leave this village, okay? Please hurry up, don't waste time. Don't worry, we'll soon leave, okay? Sweetheart, how are you? See, don't worry, we'll soon be leaving this village, okay? We'll soon be going back. Hmm? I'll get you something on the road. I, I don't want you to go in there so that they don't harm you. Hmm? Um, let's go to the car and wait for daddy. Hmm? My love, you don't need to go inside that car. I don't want anything to happen. Where is your wife and my grandchildren? Mama, they are okay. Bring them. I want to touch my grandchildren. Um, Mama, they are sleeping in the car. I told them not to worry because we are late already. Hmm. 
Ever since you got married to that woman, you no longer take care of me. Mama, I don't like it when you talk like this. Eh? This is not about my wife. It's just the pleasures of life, you know, living in the city. And you know, things are no longer the way it is in the olden days. Is it not the same city that Nena and her little daughter lives? Is it not? They come here often to take care of me. This little girl, Chinelo, she comes here every holiday to take care of me and help me out. What you and your wife are doing, is it good? Is it good? Mama, I will make sure it changes. It's just uh, as a result of situation beyond my control. And um, thank God, Shinelu is staying with you now. Okay? When the children grow up, they will come and stay with you. Okay? Take care. You can take this money and take good care of yourself. I will take it. Yes, I will. Then let me tell you one thing. Money is not everything. Family is. Let Sorry. me have it. Sorry. Okay, Mama, I think I will leave now. No, Lagos is far. Okay? So let me be going. Take good care of yourself. It's okay. Safe journey. It's all right. Save Johnny, my son. Mm. Women. Women. She has ended up taking away my son from me. God. You are the only one that sees in open and in secret. I know you will do something about it. Okay, okay. Thank you for the money that you gave her now. But please, try to make out time for her. I think she needs her love and care and attention at this stage of her life. Is she the one that sent you to say that? No, nobody sends me. I just think that she needs her love and care now more than ever. She's old and sick. Keep quiet. You that just managed to come and see her during this holiday, you are the one that cares? We that grew up with her, doing all the chores and everything. Do you know when we used to go to the stream to fetch water? About three kilometers away. We will go to batches before day breaks. Then we prepare for school. Now you just go to the neighborhood to fetch water from the tap. You are praising yourself. Hey, no, Uncle. I'm not praising myself. I'm just saying that... Shut up! You don't talk when I talk. Even your mother cannot talk back at me like this. Hey, Uncle, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to offend you. You better be. Better. Better. Say that. What's going on here? Why did you make Oh, my dear. My niece is telling me how she has been taking care of her. Really? You lie. Because I saw everything from there. This good for nothing brat was insulting you for not coming home often to see your mother. Is it by force? You. Is it by force? My dear, she wasn't insulting me. Really? Don't know why are you lying? Hmm? Why are you covering up for her? Because she's your niece, right? No, 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 because she's your niece. You see it. You see why I get mad. Once is your family is a no-go area. 
but if it's my family, my own siblings, I will let loose. Tessie, stop it. No, you die and stop it. Stop causing evil. Stop it. What has come over you? Why are you covering up evil? Hey, you. You never know of whatever they call you. You little brat. I will not watch you insult my husband before me. Because an insult to him is an insult to my personality. And I, Tessie, will not take it. Now, leave my presence before I slap out crickly stars from your eyes. Please! Idiots! Sweetheart, it's okay. I don't blame you! Please, please. Little brat. It's okay. Let's you go. see? You see why I hate coming back to this village? Do you see it? Is it that one insult, one problem, one thing or another? If you don't take me out of here, I swear, not even your mother will be an exception. My anger, you cannot stand it. Okay. Daniel, take me out of this God. Bad habits. Like, it's high time they have been taken to their place, where they belong. Instead of preventing us from enjoying life and punishing us as young people. I don't think so. These grannies are actually fun to stay with. Fun? Yes. My granny tells me sweet folk stories. As for me, I hate those old mm. stories so much. I hate them. Tosoys did that. Elephant did that. There is nothing else they can add to that. So it's better for me to go back to the city and watch better programs like Cartoon Networks. But a lot of cartoons these days talk about animals now. Like Lion King, Tom and Jerry. You know about them too? Yes, now, of course. But I also like local stories too. That means you are just being so weird. Like for me, I cannot stay in this village till another week. Ago. But tell me, when are you going back to Lagos? Maybe we can hook up there. Well, I'm going to stay here throughout the holiday. And after my Wayek, I'm going to come back here again and stay with my grandma. She seriously needs my help. Seriously? Yes. You are really turning into a village babe. <laughs> but it will be better for you to come back and stay with her permanently since you enjoy village more than city. Okay, Linda. See you later. I have to go now. My grandmother must be worried about you. No problem. I don't envy you at all. But why not wait for me when she stop before you start going home? No, no, no. She'll be worried about you. Okay. No problem, so I'll just go and fix my hair. See you some other Life is not what you think at all. This life is beyond. I've made my last day enjoyable and memorable. You left the city where your mates are crazy about to come stay with me. God will bless you, my daughter. Amen, Mama. Amen. May my good Lord bless Amen. you. Amen. It shall be well with you. Amen. Your children will do the same for you. Amen. You will grow in good health Amen. and happiness. Amen. You will marry a good man that will take care of you and respect you. Amen. Mm. My daughter, I wish I have something memorable to do for you too. Mm. How can I? How can I when I have little time to spend on this earth before I join my ancestors? I don't want to be a burden. I don't want to be a burden or problem to anybody. Oh. Mama, please, don't talk like that. Mama, please, you're not a burden to me. I'm actually enjoying your company. And besides, all the interesting folk tales you tell me, I can't hear them anywhere else. It's all right, my daughter. It's all right. For your sake, I will stay a little longer. Oh, Mama, thank you. 
a longer than you can ever imagine. Oh, Mama, thank you. Welcome. Thank you so much. <laughs> Ah. Hmm. Thank you. Thank you, Mama. Thank you for everything oh, you my, have you don't done. Need to thank you. Hey, thank Mama. you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm going to press you, Buzo, but I didn't buy the goose again. The one I saw in the market is not looking good. Mama? Mama, will you be sleeping outside? Mama? 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 Hey, Mama! Mama, Mama, hey, no, 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 hey, no, 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 Mama, Mama, hey, Mama, you cannot be dead now, Mama, wake up, Mama, wake up now, Mama, wake up, Mama, she said you will stay with me, Mama, Mama, wake up, hey, Jesus, Mama, no, 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 hey, Mama, hey, somebody help me, oh, hey, no, Mama, Mama, please, Mama, Mama, you promised that you will stay with me, Mama, Mama, can you leave me like this, Mama, please, wake up, no, Mama, please. Please wake up, you said you will stay with me, Mama. Mama, please stay with me. Somebody, please help me. Help me, help me, Mama. Please wake up, wake up, wake up. You must stand up. I'm not, I'm not. Please, please, please stand up, Mama, Mama. No, you cannot just leave me like this, Mama. I came in this body and I shall go back in this body. You're going nowhere. I will go! This is the covenant I have with the people of the other world. I cannot violate it. You gave me two years of your time. I want to repay you back. It will soon be all over. <laughs> Then go and, and, and leave our daughter alone. Oh, Yili dear, go and leave our daughter Amara. I came in this body and I shall return with it. Your daughter will be no more the moment I leave. These are things of the spiritual realm. I took permission and broke the boundaries between the living and the dead for my return. I shall not breach this agreement, else my soul will never have rest. Prepare for my ex. She's a child of mystery. She's a child of mystery. How come I didn't know all this? All this while? I, I didn't think it was necessary, Debbie. Besides, I had forgotten all about it. Hmm. This is the most unexpected thing that has ever happened in my life. I know. But honestly, I don't want to lose my daughter. No. Never. Never. But how do we save her? Her birthday is in two months' time. <sighs> Maybe we should talk to the bishop. Bishop? Yes. Uh, yeah. Okay, okay. But. With her encounter with that uh, pastor the last time, I'm not sure she's going to cooperate with any other man of God. Yes, the bishop's different. It's okay. It's okay. You can, you can talk to him. Let's see how it goes. Um, I'm also thinking about taking her to the village. Native doctor. Uh, uh, not exactly, uh, but anything that can give us a solution, I am up for it. I have a feeling that this matter can only be tackled from the village. At least the elders should know what to do. Yes, somebody somewhere must have had similar experience and then we'll take it off from there. I'll go to the village. 
why you go to the bishop. Mm. Whichever one works, solution is what we need. Can I get you something to eat? You're not hungry. Oh, this is not nice. Two days running now, all you've done is sleep from one room to the other, come out here, lie down. You've not eaten, it's, it's, it's not healthy. Please, my daughter, let me get you something to eat. Have, have I done something wrong? Talk to me, please. Am I just, no matter how small, just have something in your stomach. She still hasn't come out. She hasn't come out. Oh. Okay, in that case, let me see her before. Uh... There's no point. She's been there. She's not talking to anyone. Just let her be. You go to the village, probably by the time we come back, her mood would have changed. Maybe by then her mood would have improved. Dad, <sighs> don't waste your money and time. There's no need for that journey. The villagers won't understand because it's beyond their understanding. Use this time to do your business and put your house in order because what will be will be. Your Eminence, uh, I um, I had to leave. I mean, I waited for a long time and she wasn't forthcoming, so I left. <sighs> no, I, I, I don't think she would come. She, she doesn't like going anywhere. Yes, sir. Uh, oh, okay, just a minute. I'll jot it down. Yes. I'm picking it, sir. Okay. All right, sir. I'll do the next one. She's a child of history. Whoa! She's a child of history. Um, I'd gone to answer the bishop's call, but unfortunately, he wasn't there. But later, he called me on the phone and gave me some, some things we have to do. So, the first of the list was uh, fasting and praying. He expects us to fast for, uh, for one week, six to six. And then prayers, a lot of prayers. 
12 midnight, 3 a.m. and 6 a.m. And um, he gave me a lot of uh, Bible passages for us to read and, you know, try and lift her up. So he said, uh, consequently, he'll be calling to advise us on what to do. That's okay. That's okay. You have really done well. Thank you. Uh, whatever we need to do to save Amara must be done. Whatever. Um, Ebere, do you understand what we are talking about? I'm not deaf now that I heard you. You said we will fast six to six. Is it not? That's what you said and I heard it. As you can see, this problem is highly spiritual. So the solution can only be spiritual also. Are you ready to fast for one week? Six to six? Daddy, I don't understand the reason you're staring at only me. You said the whole family will fast. There is no problem. Hence, the whole family that will fast. There's no only a girl that will fast. But what about Martha? Hope she will join the fast. What kind of question is that? Now you see why I was staring at you. Look at the kind of question you're asking. Well, we want to fast on behalf of your sister and you want that same sister to join in the fasting. Who does that? We are saying the same thing, Daddy. You and I are not saying the same thing. Stop it. I'm only saying that if we are fasting for Amara to be well, that it will only be reasonable for Amara to join the fast so that she can be well. Very, very well. Lived. There is no problem, but Amara will join. Because I'm not the only one that will come and fast and have us just for Amara to be well. Not first fasting and Amara will be it. Me too, I will eat. How do you expect you someone who is sick to fast alongside you? Me, I'm sick. Enough. Enough. Vera, whatever you need to eat after 6 p.m., go ahead and eat it. But once it is 6 a.m., honey, warn her. You must abide by this instruction so long as you are under my roof. Do you understand that? Do you understand me? Yes, I do. I heard you. She's a child of mystery. She's a child of mystery.
There's no problem. I should be the one asking you if there's a problem because the way you're fidgeting and looking, you know, a bit um, uptight. What exactly is going on? Uh, I'm fine, mommy. Nothing is good. Mama. Are you cooking food? Me? It's our neighbors. Yes, it's our neighbors, mommy. Mama. I can smell food, my dear girl. Smell? Don't tell me it's your neighbor. Someone is cooking food in the house. Are you the one cooking? Are you not ashamed of yourself? Fast for one week, six to six, just to save your sister's life. And here you are cooking. Three days running, you're already cooking. In a medical long way, you're better. You're already cooking by the third day, breaking the fast. Oh, six to six, so. Oh. Not running street six days. Oh, mommy, I did not break the fast. I only cooked. I have no eating meat. Oh, my God. You just cooked. So you cook now and keep it till 6 p.m. Then you eat it, right? Just in case they take light. Or we run out of gas. Or what? Or you get tired to cook by that time. You should be ashamed of yourself. It's your daughter, your sister's life we're talking about here. Is her life and so? Why is it that every time it's Amara, Amara, Amara? It's always about Amara. Nobody cares about me. Why? Really? With the way you're acting, why would anyone care about you? You want your sister to die? Is that what you want? No, answer me. You don't even care. And so what if it's about my sister's life, mommy? So what? What about my own life? You people want me to die because you want to save Amara. So what? You people want me to die of hunger because of Amara. I can't believe that came out of her mouth. Jealousy. Jealousy is a wicked thing. I don't blame you, it's your mouth. You can say whatever you like. Oh, Nukube. Jealousy will kill you. I'm around them. Ami. Ami. Mimi, where are you? What do you want me to do? Amara, please. Please, you can't do this to us. Your father and I are worried over you. You need to talk to us. What, what, what is the problem? You know, we both love you. You've refused to us to help you. You don't want to go to the church and you've stopped your father from going to the village. What do you need us to do to, to get you out of this? Please, my daughter, talk to me. Am I really supposed to say something? Yes. So just tell us how to. Leave me alone. That is what I have to say to you. What, Amara? No! Leave me alone! Go and talk to Olivia, not me! No! I am not in the position to talk to. Go and talk to Oyelidia! No! Give me a no!
What is wrong with your daughter? Oh my God. She has malaria. Malaria. And she's restless. Malaria. This is not malaria. They call it cerebral malaria. It, it, it makes people to hallucinate this. Things that are not there. That is what is wrong with her. It's... He says he's malaria. Why didn't you people take her abroad and treat her? You have the money. Why are you leaving her here to suffer? It is ordinary malaria. You don't have to fly her abroad to treat malaria. There's a doctor with you. Don't worry. Amara, why, why don't you go into the room and rest? You know, the doctor said she needs a lot of rest. Mm. She needs to sleep, yes. You bad woman. You evil woman. You want to collect money from my dad so you can continue your wayward life. No! A penny you won't see. We will give you food to avoid starvation. But no money! What is she saying? You shut up! I'm talking to you. You want to extort money from my father to continue your wayward life? What is she saying? Shut up! I'm talking to you! You're a bad woman! She was the bad woman I was talking about the last time you came. You want to continue your wayward life with my dad's money? You pushed your husband into his debt. And you made your mother in the past through hell. He could not even let her see her grandchildren. Now the chicken has come to roost. You're crying. Go back to your lonely house and repent. It's never too late to ask for forgiveness. Mom, you'll give her food. She hasn't eaten good food in months. As for money, no. And you have to stay away from her. She's a bad woman. Very bad woman. <sighs> Very bad one. Chile to Taliki. This is like been quite long. <laughs> hey! Hey! News flash. Mm -hmm. Tell me something. <laughs> you know me, I always carry no, current. That's why I like you. Current news. Hey. I'm always current. Mama and Kichi. It's my job now. Hey, tell me, tell me. I tell heard me from Grapevine mm -hmm. that the girl is officially mad. Oh. Officially mad. To an extent that they have to seal up her mouth because each time, each time they don't close her mouth, she will shout and it will attract the neighborhood. Ah, yes, they serious. Yes, they have to tie her mouth and also chain her in chains, my sister. Mm. Locked up in a room, oh hey, mm. so, think about it. People that could barely see two years ago, all of a sudden, boom, wealth, new cars. Houses, building houses, even a very big lifestyle, a flashy lifestyle. Just to check now, sudden wealth, sudden madness. Balance the equation. What are you trying to say? Are you trying to say that the man and his wife used their daughter for money ritual? Bam, Ijia. Hey! God will, God will bless you. I never knew you are this sensible. Yes, now. Nah. But it's true. You know their story, you know now. They always beg you from talk to talk. Such a pretty girl. This is serious. Mm. But why would they do that kind of thing? My dear, it will meet up. 
That's what they call level up. Greed. You know, they have to meet up to their lifestyle, their fake lifestyle. So they need more money. For that, they have to exchange the girl's brain. I am very sure. Chai. Anyway, <laughs> it's their problem. And they will live with the shame. Yes, because anything you plant is what you reap. They have planted madness and reap it. They will die inside that shit. Do you know that every time that girl passes by my house, I will be looking at her like I like that girl. She's very pretty. But not anymore. Or do you like pretty mad people? Go for it. Hey. How can I? I should say that she's brainless. Hey. You know that the mother was saying that they were penniless. That the girl now the girl is brainless. Whatsoever anybody shows, the person will reap. You catch you know, I used to beg money now. I used to come to me for money. But for certain, she has wealth. Which one is? Like they wasted her. Chai. Now she says this. How would this paint this? She's a child of mystery. She's a child of mystery. Listen to her. Madam Lucy. Hello. How are you? I'm fine. Who do you want to speak with? Um, is your mother around? Madam Lucy, you know my mother will not be around by this time. So why come in here? Besides, you have her number. Why did you not call her? Um, I came to confirm the gossip, right? What gossip? Madam Lucy. Be careful of the kind of people you associate yourself with. Be careful of what you listen to. This world is filled with evil people. Envy is like drinking poison and hoping it kills your enemy. I'm sure you understand what I'm talking about. Have a nice day. I'm sure you have more important things to do than to come here to see gossip. Close the gate behind you. your sister's condition. I am worried about my sister, which is the reason I want to get married. I mean, Mom, I am tired of all the problems going on in the circles. I can no longer cope. I see. And you do. Did you take something? What do you mean? Anything? My senses are intact, Mom. Which is the reason I want to settle down. I will get married to a man who loves me. That man that will give me peace. And if you try to stop me, I will look with him. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Ah, you will be a little bit better. You should have done that a long time ago. What are you waiting for? What is stopping you? I think by now you'd have gone. Why are you staying back and talking about it like you want me to beg you to stay? You're not even thinking of what your sister is going through. You're here talking about marriage. Marriage to who? I can't believe you. You don't care. You only think of yourself. Always about my sister, Mom. No one thinks about me. Will you shut up? You are very selfish. It's all about Amara. Nobody cares about me. Nobody cares how I feel. Nobody cares if I exist or not. Everything I do, I should forget about myself and think about Amara. If Amara were to be in your shoes, she would do more for you. Amara would take her own life for you. And you're here every minute talking about you. I am not talking about myself. You couldn't even fast for Amara. You couldn't even do anything for Amara. You lied against her. Amara goes through through hell because of you. You don't care. You do not care. So you're keeping records so, for me. Why would I? Why would I? If you lose her, would you be happy? Do you know what we're going through? You're always talking about yourself. She's my baby. Do you know what I'm going through? She's your baby when I am born. Oh, shut up. That is the problem. You're you talking happy? about your sister. You're here talking about getting married. You want to run away from it all. You don't even want to sit back and help your sister. What do you think marriage is all about? Selfishness? I want to get married. And I will. No one is stopping me. Go ahead. I don't come back here. Ebere, why do you want to get married now? Why don't you wait until you finish with school? Huh? I can always go to school and marry Dad. I am no longer happy here. I don't feel wanted. I don't feel loved. Please allow me to go to a man that loves me. Ever, we, we provide you everything that you need as our child. And now God has made things easier for us. So how come it is now that you suddenly feel unwanted, uncomfortable, and you want to go? What exactly is the problem? We love you. Not enough to make me want to stay. The world here revolves around Amara. I feel like I don't have any place here. My mistake is being thrown at me at every little time. There is nothing I do that is enough. I have someone out there that wants me. And yes, it's not that kind of love. You're a woman, Mom. You know what I am talking about, right? Listen, Dad. I need a man. Like, I need him urgently. If not, I might just go mad. You understand me, right? Why are you sounding like a sport child? I am not spoiled. It's okay. It's okay. It's alright. It's okay. Ebera. You want to get married, huh? You already found a man you want to get married to, huh? Yes. That's okay. 
Can we at least see the man? Yes, you can. That's all right. As soon as possible, bring your man, let us see him, and then we can take it off from there. Welcome once again, Mr. Tony. You're welcome once again. So, um, all right, uh, may I ask you, uh, where are you from? Oh, I'm from the city, you know, city guy, uptown guys, classic, Ashta Bagash, Ashta Bula, Dupu Kapori, you got it? That I was born and bred here. I've been around the world, traveled to a little places like the UK, London, Asia, Malaysia, all those countries with Sia. I've been there. So I'm like an international guy, you know, like a global citizen, citizen of the world. I even have a passport, baby. Citizen of the world, mm -hmm. AKA Tony, on the passport. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, I mean, um, well, uh, I, uh, that's okay, but uh, I mean, um, where you come from, your, your village. I know you travel around the world and all that, but where is your village? That's what I've been trying to explain to you, sir. You know, my mom told me I'm Igbo, but uh, I've never been there. I don't speak it. Who cares about Igbo language, man? I'm an international guy. I speak international languages like French, Spanish, Latin. Tu parles français? Non, tu ne parles pas français. You don't speak French, I guess. Okay. Babe, do you speak French? Yeah, I'll, <laughs> yeah, I'll teach you French tomorrow. Okay. You. So you see, Ibo is tough, hard to learn. I don't care about that language. But you know, my dad is from Benin and my grandmother is from Kogi State. You know Kogi State? No, no, no I don't. So um, I grew up with my grandmother. If you put this whole thing together, I'm like a national, international guy. It's all right. It's all right. Um, enough of that. Um, so, what do you do for a living? Simple pops. I make money for a living. What do you mean by make money for a living? Okay, let me break it down to you, old man. You know, we don't work hard to make money now. We just play soft. All those going to school, learning trade, a doctor, nah. You just need to be rich. I'm rich, baby. No, no, I, I, it's not about uh, uh, money. It's not about money. I mean, uh, the training, the skill, you know. It's, it, it, um, like your profession, you know, like a skill that you have, a training. Like, okay, I'm an engineer and a building contractor. My wife is an economist and a civil servant. So what are you? Oh, you mean like going to school, learning? So, oh, no, 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 pops. Yeah, that's old school. I don't need to learn all that to make money. Besides, who needs that? I got too much money. So, what's the use of all these questions? Okay, what have you achieved with, uh, with, with the money? Or what have you achieved in life as a man? You won't marry my daughter. I don't know you. Pops, a lot. Speak, baby. <laughs> you got it. I know you know. You know, right? I've actually achieved a lot. You see that car park out there? Mm -hmm. I imported that car piece by piece. Mm -hmm. The wheels is from China. The steering is from Turkey. I coupled it myself. You know? That's just one of my rides. I got a Jeep for my mom and one for my elder brother. That wicked nigga. He thought I wasn't going to make it. He thought I was going to die. But look at me. I forgive the bastard. You know? Because the Bible said, to err is human, to forgive is divine. I also bought a Jeep for my pastor. Because that nigga was there for me when I was nobody. Yeah. He prayed for me. Look at me. Latest Jeep. Mm. Yeah. You know? 
My pastor was there for me when I was nobody. Prayer, all this supporting. So I had to show him some love. Really? All right, all right. Um, so, uh, um, where, where, where do you live? Do you live uh, your own house or rented apartment or you're squatting with somebody else? I mean, babe, you know where I live? I got no time for squatting. Let me shock you dead. Chill. Chill, sir. See, this is hilarious. That's what I'm going to leave you to borrow. You see that? This is your house. Yeah, that's my house. Actually, that house, I'm importing everything from abroad. I'm importing the house piece by piece. The bricks from China. Not just the bricks, the furniture, everything. Clothes. Your daughter's room is well packaged. All the clothes is there. You know, even what she's going to eat is from China. I don't eat shit in this country, man. Abera. Move it! Yeah, um, Mr. Tony. Um. You're welcome once again, Mr. Tony. You're welcome once again. So, um... All right, uh, may I ask you, uh, where are you from? Oh, I'm from the city, you know, city guy, uptown guys, classic, Ashta Bagash, Ashtabula, Dupu Kapori, you got it? That I was born and bred here. I've been around the world, traveled to a little places like the UK, London, Asia, Malaysia, all those countries with Sia. I've been there. So I'm like an international guy, you know, like a global citizen, citizen of the world. I even have a passport, baby. Citizen of the world, AKA Tony, on the passport. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, so I mean, um, well, uh, hey, that's okay, but I mean, um, where you come from, your, your village. I know you travel around the world and all that, but where is your village? That's what I've been trying to explain to you, sir. You know, my mom told me I'm Igbo, but uh, I've never been there. I don't speak it. Who cares about Igbo language, man? I'm international guy. I speak international languages like French, Spanish, Latin. Tu parles français? Now, tu ne parles pas français. You don't speak French, I guess. Okay. Babe, do you speak French? Yeah, I'll, <laughs> yeah, I'll teach you French. Don't worry. Okay. So you see, Igbo is tough, hard to learn. I don't care about that language. But you know, my dad is from Benin and my grandmother is from Kogi State. You know Kogi State? No, no, no I don't. So um, I grew up with my grandmother. If you put this whole thing together, I'm like a national, international guy. Yeah. It's all right. It's all right. Um, enough of that. Um, so what do you do for a living? Simple pops. I make money for a living. What do you mean by make money for a living? Okay, let me break it down to you, old man. You know, we don't work hard to make money now. We just play soft. All those going to school, learning trade, a doctor. Nah, we just need to be rich. I'm rich, baby. No, no, it's not about money. It's not about money. I mean. Uh, the training, the skill, you know, it, it, um, like your profession, you know, like a skill that you have, a training, like, okay, I'm an engineer and a building contractor. My wife is an economist and a civil servant. So what are you? Oh, you mean like going to school, learning? So oh, no, 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 pops. Yeah, that's old school. You don't need to learn all that to make money. Besides, who needs that? I got too much money. So, what's the use of all these questions? 
Okay, what have we achieved with uh, with with the money, or what have we achieved in life as a man? You won't marry my daughter. I don't know you. Pops, a lot. <laughs> you got it. I know you know. You know, right? I've actually achieved a lot. You see that car park out there? Mm -hmm. I imported that car piece by piece. Mm -hmm. The wheels is from China. The steering is from Turkey. I coupled it myself. You know? That's just one of my rides. I got a Jeep for my mom and one for my elder brother, that wicked nigga. He thought I wasn't going to make it. He thought I was going to die. But look at me. I forgive the bastard, you know? Because the Bible said, to err is human, to forgive is divine. I also bought a jeep for my pastor because that nigga was there for me when I was nobody. Yeah. He prayed for me. Look at me. Latest jeep. Mm. No. Which you is? know, my pastor was there for me when I was nobody. Prayer, all this supporting. So I had to show him some love. Really? All right, all right. Um, so, uh, um, where, where, where do you live? Uh, do you live uh, your own house or rented apartment or you're squatting with somebody else? I mean... Babe, do you know where I live? I've got no time for squatting. Let me shock you dead. Chill. Chill, sir. See? This is hilarious. That's why I'm going to leave you tomorrow. You see that? This is your house? Yeah, that's my house. Actually, that house, I'm importing everything from my body. I'm importing the house piece by piece. The bricks from China. Not just the bricks, the furniture, everything. Clothes. Your daughter's room is well packaged. All the clothes is there. You know, even what she's going to eat is from China. I don't eat shit in this country, man. I better. Move it! Uh, Tony. Yeah, Tony. Tony Canto. Tony. Canto. Tony. Yeah. You're That's welcome. my name, Nigo. You're welcome once again. Thank you, Pops. Um, this house of yours, where is it located? Mm -hmm. Oh, Pops. It's at the close of Madison Road. Um, you know, this area is reserved for big boys mm -hmm. like us. That's why I'm going to leave for your daughter. Uh, who is the contractor that is handling this project? The contractor. I don't need no contractor. Contractor? No. Yeah. This is a big project. It's almost a mansion. So it must be handled by a reputable contractor. Pops, what is all this question all about? I mean, I'm not here for some kind of an interview for a job. I'm here to marry your daughter. My love, please just calm down, okay? But the only thing is not necessary. Shut up. Shut up. What's it going to do? Mr. Tony. Pops. You cannot get married to my daughter. Dad! Shut up, you cat. Dad! Will you keep quiet? Oh, Dad. You know why you cannot marry my daughter? Because you're not only a cheap liar, but a very stupid one. Ah! Damn, you're calling me stupid now? Yes, Do I look stupid to you, babe? No, babe, no, 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 no. Why is the pop saying I'm stupid? You just calm down, okay? Because that's exactly what you are. You presented my house, my own house under construction. It's what you presented to me as your house. What? And you want to marry my daughter. How? Oh. 
funny. That means everything else about you is fake. Eberre, hey, didn't you know that my house is better than the uh, uh, better clothes? Yes, the new house. So how come you did not recognize it when he showed it to you? He did not show the house to me, Dad. He only told me about one other house located somewhere else. Which must also be a fake. Tony! Tony! Babes, why didn't you tell me your pops here is a kind of a contractor or something? Is that the reason for the lies? Uh, uh, okay, we want to get married. We want to get married, whatever you're called. Please, carry your stupid self out of my house. Like right now. You heard her. Oh, finish up, finish up the drink. But your mama also you have some. I think good shit. No, 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 <laughs> he called your father Nigga. See, I stole this one. I'll call you Nigga. <laughs> yeah, baby. You won't stop disgracing this family. I want to marry, I want to marry. This, this is the heart. <laughs> Bianne, what is going on now? Refund the money to the, the cooperative. Yes. I have your name on my list. 200,000. Yes, yes, yes. We talk about one for six months. 10,000 10, per month. That's, um, you are owing for like six months now. I'm holding the book. Your, please, pay up, pay up, please, please. Oh, I'm okay. my friend. Don't mind these people that they want to. Please, hold your story to yourself. I'm not interested. What happened? You're, what have I done? You're asking me what happened. What have I done? Like, really? Are you asking me that? You told me that Chinolo's daughter was mad. Oh, yes? I went there. Only to see the girl normal. And do you know the worst part of it? The girl even embarrassed me. Me and Lucy for coming to gossip. I don't know how she knew that I was coming. Maybe. You alerted them only to make me look bad. Lucy, are you aware you have a problem? What is your problem? Me? That's all that. Okay, okay, fine. I told you, I, I told you her child is raving mad. Did I ask you to go and confirm? Confirmento, confirmer. Eh? Confirm, confirm. Did I? You are very lucky she never chopped off your nose. You are very lucky. When you are saying, apropos, hey. gossip. Look at who is calling someone Aproko. You are the number one Aproko that I've ever seen. Me. All the gossip you told me in the past three years I've known you are all lies. Lucy. You have too much jealousy in you. Lucy. Yes. You dare talk to me. Lucy, don't let me start with you. Do not let me start with you. If you allow me to open your chapter, I will read your verse. And it, and, eh, it will be so, so destructive. What chapter? Do not you? let me start with you. What chapter, Mama and Kichi? What chapter are you talking about? What chapter? Chinelo, what chapter? What chapter do you know? Hmm. I see you have the iota of oh, shame. Yes. Oh, you feel I don't know? No what? Oh, very good. Okay. The chapter of your husband's ex-wife. What you did to her and became the new wife. You feel I don't know? <laughs> I have your stories like this. You think I don't know? That is all you do. Digging into people's life, looking for gossip. Shame on you. You deserve more. Shame on you, my mind. Lucy, you. I am not for me. I am not your mate. Get out. Live here. You? You dare you lay your filthy hands on me? I will lay more on you. You are very stupid. Oh. Am I your mate? Are we mates? You will hear from me. How? I will yeah. tell the hot hands. Get out. So you dare lay your filthy hands on me? I will lay more on you. Mama Nkechi. Get out. Leave my house. Sorry. I will deal with Leave you. Leave my house. You don't push me. Leave my house. I will deal Get out. Just wait. Look at. You will deal with me. Stupid woman. In Africa. Do I blame you? Am I your mate? Look at. Because I have to decide so not to become your friend. Are we mates? By size, are we mates? Look at. Look at you. Nonsense. Eh? 
telling me, eh, 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 I, I went to confirm. Confirmento, you, you are very lucky. Go there next time, they will cut your head off. Nonsense. And hey, yes, there's no money. No, no money. Of you are mad. She's a child Look of mystery. <coughs> harassing your mother, harassing all of us. They want to get married, they want to get married. A man that loves you, a man that. A criminal. A very handsome. A wayward criminal. A homeless criminal. I'm sorry, Daddy. The first one was an armed robber. The second was a ritualist. And now, a complete fool. But why do you keep falling into the hands of people like this? It is happening because you have such a feeble mind. Such a feeble mind. And you have no respect nor regard for your parents. Shame on you. A better shame on you. Sorry for yourself. Look at the embarrassment. Just look at the embarrassment. The idiot you brought here is calling me a nigga. Calling, talking down on us. I am sure everything he came here with was borrowed. That car must be borrowed. His clothes must be borrowed. Everything on him must be borrowed. But you fall for him. You fall for his type because you're so empty. She's, she's, I don't know, she's trembling, everything, please, come, come, immediately. if you can, come with the doctor, please. Daddy, hurry, please. daddy, hurry, please. Get water, 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 get or drugs. Why are you sick? You need to get to the hospital. Because my time is up. I have to die in order to leave. No, no, no. So, so we don't understand. What do you mean? My time is up. I have to die in order to leave. 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 Do something. I have to die in order to leave. Amara, Amara, she's not dead. She's not dead. Just let me. Now do something, please. Now please do something. Amara, please. Amara, please, I'm begging you. Please do something! What? Oh, that's him! 
the permission of our forefathers down here to live without her. What's the use? The thing that the king would talk for me is just as if I don't have my daughter. All you have done for me would be wasted because my daughter is already dead. Take care of yourself and your family until it is time to Small and Marachi. 
Street time.